Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast. Today, we have the internet sensation. I'm Alex. Woo! Oh, thank you, guys. That's a lovely introduction. Should I have said you're Alex? Yeah, it's a nightmare of a username. <laughs> Joke, like, I don't know why I picked it, because nobody knows how to talk to me. Hi, I'm Alex. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Hi, Alex. They go, no, I'm not. And I go, <laughs> yeah, first person has done that. And then, you know, then we, we roll through the whole thing. Maybe and then, then they tell me to get new like one. a stutter. And you're like, I'm, I'm Alex. <laughs> yeah, well, that would make sense, right? Because technically, when I go, hello, everyone, I'm Alex, I'm actually not saying I'm, I'm Alex. No, that's I'm like me saying going, hello, username. everyone, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, that's, that, that's good. I like, I like the username. I think it's great. Thank it's you. It's also like, it's a very YouTube username, if that makes sense. Yeah, it was sometimes, my, sometimes they work. It was my PSN. Know? Yeah. That's yeah. why. It was my oh, can I just reveal something? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we were, we were with, I was with JJ the weekend, and we oh, were doing some so. festivals. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. We'll play FIFA, but I'll, I'll talk about that later. But though, we were loading up the PS5, his PS5, and can I tell you what his username is? Well, I, I already know it. Yeah. What is it? Um, YouTube Boxing Champ. Is it actually? That's it. That's what he's used on uh, pro clubs. <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. said it before. Oh, so do they know it already on? on do, do, do the fans Some, know it? We don't ever talk about it. But it doesn't it's, pop up on his on name. There. Does it say KSI on top of his head? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. You two boxing chap, and we, we were just like grilling him, and I was like, I asked him, is that ironic? And he was like, no. No. <laughs> and it shouldn't be. He's he's like, like, I, I made it. it after I beat Logan. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst part. <laughs> that's not even like an old like. Oh, no. When he was a kid, he had his PSN and that was the name. He's literally made that as a grown man. No, I fully <laughs> rate it. No, I fully rate it. That's unreal. Yeah, yeah. But it, I'm Alex is spelt. Two L's. Two L's and it's, two X's. Yeah, it's, but it's, nobody ever gets it right. Like, ever. I, it's I'm all, not surprised. People, <laughs> people, people always drop one of the double letters. Yeah. But they, but they always... So it always either be two L's and one X or two X's and one L. Never, ever is anybody brave enough to put both of them in. Okay. And it is... Like, sometimes I do think it's... I'm like, oh man, branding. Mm -hmm. But you don't think about that when you're 13 playing Call of Duty. Like you don't think about that. You don't think about that at all. Well, I David Dobrik used to buy, didn't he? He used, or he used, to, he used to create like famous people's yeah. game attacks and stuff to sell it to them. Yeah, I have a mate who does that. Who, who just who has loads, He just has loads of Twitter apps, just like oh. really, really unique, unique ones, I and mean, then he sells them to companies. Does it work? He apparently, makes decent money off it. Bang! Does he, does does he, he have, have at Simon or Randolph? It might do. <laughs> I, I think he had one of them. What was like? I think he had literally had the alias alias. Oh, and yeah, cool. that one was that pretty would, cool. Yeah. So they're gonna get their traffic from this, and probably yeah. you know, you know, that um, free. yeah, you know, do you know Liam uh, to insane? Yeah. Yes. You know his Instagram is Liam. Liam. He got at Liam. Yeah. How? That's so cool. Who do you have to know to get that? He that? knows, um, you know, a couple of guys. Yeah, you must. Think. He knows Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Just, all of them. You gotta have something on somebody to get that username. Yeah. You gotta know something. Dark. Yeah. He, he was when he was working in one of his jobs. Probably he probably saw something happen on one of the night parties, and he was like, you <laughs> yeah, know what? Like, I'm gonna use this to get the Liam name. <laughs> But I, I've seen. I'm not gonna bring. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about it actually. Okay, basically. I've seen dark things at parties. <laughs> <laughs> no, you was about. You were about to talk about FIFA, weren't you? No, no, no. I was about to talk about my usernames that I'm trying to get. Oh. But I didn't want to say that in case. Uh, in uh, case somebody steals yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah. I almost tried uh, a few years ago. I almost changed everything instead of Mini Minter to Simon Minter. Yes. And uh, the only thing that actually stopped me was the Twitter account because someone has it and they said they want at least. I think it was either six or eight grand. That's, you know, that's actually quite cheap, though. Most people I charge, know, like, I was, 40. I was like, I just don't yeah, know. Yeah, genuinely. Right. I know, but, but I get what you're saying as well. It just feels cheap, doesn't it? It well, feels I mean, like... Not, sorry, not, not cheap to cheap. do it. No, no, I mean, like, it feels like... It feels degrading to have to pay someone to get your own name. Yeah, but and also, to be fair, it's, it's paying six grand for a name is outrageous in any scenario, yeah. really. And I looked <laughs> at their Twitter, and they don't use it. They yeah. do a tweet every now and then just to keep it active enough oh, that that's they can't a lose it. so painful. Like, one tweet every eight months. I know, but to be fair, when you get to... I guess, imagine... He's looking at your profile like, oh, whoa, this guy's, you know. I don't think he knew it was. No, but he'll do, your re he'll do research. Probably, and yeah. he's like, oh, this guy's got quite a lot of followers. Eight grand or whatever. Yeah. Well, I offered him, I said to him like, oh, I'd give you like three. And he was like, yeah. no, I want at least like eight. I was like, where have you pulled that number from? You've just taken my number <laughs> and gone. Brand numbers, mate. That's yeah. how he knows. <laughs> the thing is, he just, he just sat there knowing that you could cash in on the name, but doesn't. He could have got three grand. Could have got three grand. Yeah, now he's going to get nothing. Now he's going to mm. get nothing. Yeah, unless, unless, he, unless he's got like a sick ass, sick ass job. Does anybody want to be on Twitter that much? <laughs> I mean, no, I don't, no. I, don't. I don't think anybody does. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've, I, I'm, I'm just trying to drop. Well, if I did say anything, I would drop my UK. I've got Randolph UK. Yeah, I, I don't really care to be honest. At the same time, I'm happy I didn't change it now. Yeah. I nearly switched it. I did because I, because when it got to the point where every time I did videos with somebody, they yeah. spelt it wrong. Uh, <laughs> so I was like. 
But then also my real name, people spell my real name wrong. So I was like, well, I can't even switch to that because what, what, it's Elmsley. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but yeah, yeah. people put S L Y, understandably, but it's S L I E. Yeah, yeah. I nearly forgot how to spell my name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I just, I was like, I just have to accept this is my fate. Yeah. And yeah. This is it now. I remember typing in your name on YouTube and. This was a while ago. This wasn't like yesterday. And nothing came up. Uh, <laughs> no, but I remember having, I remember I've typed in like one X, two L's, one L, two X's. I remember even typing in two M's before. Yeah, like, if you, but if you, do, but if you, if you <laughs> drop the letters now, luckily it's got to the point where YouTube recognised yeah, it, and yeah. that was that was a great moment. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was like, now I don't have to go. Well, it's got an extra letter there and and there. Yeah, yeah. So well, that's, that's why TikTok is so great, isn't it? Because TikTok just you just find things on TikTok. Like even if you don't want to find it, it'll just find you. Oh, TikTok's so the like, greatest. Yeah, we've got to a point now where the algorithm just kicks in; it just works. Yeah, and it, and it, and also like it will. It, it, TikTok's the craziest one where it literally will just give you the same of everything that you like. Yeah, but that can also could be really scary because if you watch the wrong video for too long out of yeah. morbid curiosity <laughs> or someone links you it yeah, <laughs> yeah. your for you page is just it's, it's rotten gone, yeah. oh my god I must start doing that I was linking people just ruining things yeah, yeah. I might just in the group chat just link 30 TikToks that are all to do with something else something yeah. terrible yeah. and then every one of your TikTok for you pages like I mean, if you I, me and George go downstairs and we'll just scroll because we've got a lot on uh, <laughs> so we'll just scroll through and his compared to mine is like night and day his, is, his is terrifying like dark humour in that yeah it's just it's just horrific it's just people being like bullied <laughs> <laughs> uh, like and that's all it is. He goes, oh look at this one. And he's like, look at the comments on that. Yeah, and, then, yeah. and then you know, and then they end up like the weirdest thing is when you watch TikTok with somebody and then they sync. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. terrifying. Well, I link him a lot of stuff, and he's like, oh, yeah, I've seen it already. Yeah. Like, well, I've literally great. seen it like the night before. Yeah, yeah. We have the same same page. Although mine is just football now. Yeah, mine's Ronaldo. Yeah, everything's just Ronaldo. That's all I've got. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind it though. See. I'm joking. Yeah, I'm just Goldbridge doing that. Yeah, Mark Goldbridge yeah. Oh, yeah. That came up on mine. Yeah. He's doing it on purpose, right? I, I he's that one. That he, one. He's one where it's like clearly like he leans into it massively, yeah, yeah, but also but it's smart to though, isn't it? Yeah, there are some things that I'm just like, no, he meant that. It's too natural. Yeah. Yeah. Way too natural. Sue. <laughs> <laughs> it was great though. Yeah, it's I great. It. I want to get him on the podcast one day. I'll be, I'll be a good, he's good fantastic. Guest. Yeah, he's one of my. Have favorites. I heard rumors that he's a Nottingham Forest fan or was a Nottingham Forest fan? I think he's from Nottingham. Right. Okay. Like every YouTuber apparently nowadays is. <laughs> yeah. But like you know, it's it's Oi. yeah. <laughs> what was that? Oi. <laughs> is that what? Just roll on. Like Oi. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a representation of Nottingham. Roll on. Although weirdly, you know Calux, right? When <laughs> yeah, he went to Nottingham Forest just, or Saturday. Yeah, no Sunday. Why? Yeah, Calux texts me right, and he's like, "Oh, do you want to come to uh, the Forest game on the 12th <laughs> in, a, in a box?" And I was like, "Yeah, what the hell?" I'm, I'm obviously I'm a Forest fan, so you don't know. What is know. a box at Forest that like like an actual just just it's a, a box? No, you just get a box. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> walk into the stadium with a little box. You get a box with your burger actually <laughs> <laughs> instead of a wrapper. But no, it was, it was a good box. It's behind glass, but it's a good box. But anyway, I couldn't but go because I was park life. But I was so mad. I was like, "What are the odds that on the day that looks has asked me to go in a box? I'm at the Park Life Festival." I was fuming, but we lost. Oh, did you go to Park Life? Yeah, we, yeah. Performed. P- performed there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, even better. Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> yeah, just, he's just performed at Park Life, Glasgow, Leeds, Reading. Yeah, you've done them all. It's big time these days. This is what I do now. You know, I just, you know, yeah, you're just you're too big there. Podcast on Mondays, you know, then Ace Grade in the week, and then just top it off with some festivals. How know? many times <laughs> do people ask you to do Haskey time? Every time. Is it literally yeah, every time? Yeah. And he still do hasn't done it. We did it, actually. We did it at, um, yeah, at a banquet at Prism. We did it like a, a few lines there, and JJ told me to stop. <laughs> he went, please. I mean, no, no, How far's he uh, Emil Heskey, the Chuck Norris of football. He got so many talents to easily drop your jaw. I ran about there, and then JJ, then, then JJ was like, wait, 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 wait for the tour. So <laughs> wait for the tour. Apparently not on tour, but I don't even know if I'm going yet. If I'm going yet so. uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm going to go to every show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just for that moment. It's annoying because I don't, I don't have the files anymore. Like, I, don't, I don't have the instrumentals. I don't have the... It's probably for the best, though, yeah, in part yeah. of it. But as yeah. much as like, it's such an iconic video. I think I need to post it back up onto Randy on Spotify. Because someone's got it on Spotify. I remember when I that came out. When it, when no, it well, came out. Let, let me find out how many streams it's When it Sorry, came out, on. right, <laughs> I remember being in, the, in at music class. We must have been, uh, I don't know, year eight, probably. Like, this is terrible. I'm going so far back. I always remember everybody for that whole music class was just trying to play the piano bit. Right, yeah. Yeah, and that's just all everybody did for like about a month, and everybody thought it was really funny. Music teachers hated us. Really? They're like, what is this? They're like, this is what you can't be playing this in class. We're like, no, this is, this is our music project. This I, is love how, I, I love how it's not even 
you and him. It's he's the feature. Yeah, yeah, he's a feature. Yeah, yeah. But it's on his channel. Yeah, he's only got like two lines in the whole track. Nice. Whose idea was it though? Who came? Uh, you? J- 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 JJ. Yeah, he was, he, he he was the concept. Yeah. A few more lines. <laughs> a few more. Four lines. <laughs> they're but all bars though. Every single yeah, no, one of them is a bar. You know what? It, 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 weirdly, it is a great song. Like not like not to blow my own trumpet, but no, it's an eight. It's an eight. <laughs> no, it's not because I think it's I think it's it is it's it's it's, it's four because it's half time type thing. But it's fine. It's okay for you to say eight. It's Tesky time, not half time. I just like the dum 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 dum. I actually like slapped a little bit. Hey, look, <laughs> nine, did nine, you produce the beat? Yeah, did you did the beat as well. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. unreal. Nine hundred twenty thousand plays on Spotify. And it's, it's got almost a million plays on Spotify. Yeah, look, on on some it's random it's yeah, because we re-uploaded it. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got to post that. My Spotify got hacked. Well, hacked. Not, not hacked. Well, someone uploaded a song to it. Yes, they can do that. that is yeah. a problem. I Spotify. don't know why they haven't fixed it's it. It's a problem with it. Well, yeah. did you ever see the? So it's someone did it to Rice Gum about JJ. Yes, it's the same guy did it on mine. Right, right. Um, and everyone was like, "Oh, you need to delete it." And I was like, you know, "But also, I'll wait till it gets some streams." You can't <laughs> though. Like, it's a nightmare. You have like, to email I, them and then chat to them and then. I had somebody it. like upload a bunch of like just clips of me playing the ukulele to Spotify, yeah. which I didn't want people to do i was like i'm still learning I was, yeah, like, yeah. I was like please don't post that anywhere <laughs> and then they're on spotify and trying to get it to, I, I, they're still there i can't get them taken down oh, my. so i don't want that on there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well i've got that guy like robert randall for the jazz guy oh, yeah. i just let him settle let's be fair just, the light went off when you said that talking about yeah nothing's good randolph. anymore yeah oh, okay. randolph's not good move on yeah it's hey, on you now. said you got well, to stop the song the song that um is on my spotify now what are you staring at it's back you just, I was Alex. Oh, you're just staring I'm, at me. I'm sorry, just looking at you. <laughs> yeah, this is a conversation. I'm just an but I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking. I just looked at you, and, and you're we, like, "We should just look at each other and just ignore Simon." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Sorry, Simon. Continue. Oh, okay. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> the song on my Spotify. I've only heard the first four lines. Okay. It's called uh, "KSI in My Bed." Have you done a reaction video to this? No. You should do. Reaction Hence, why I've only heard the first first four lines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Saving yeah. it. Yeah, but Smart. I know the first four lines go. Uh, mini Minter in KSI in bed. Mini Minter in KSI in bed. <laughs> mini Minter in KSI in bed. It's like Donda. Oh, well, <laughs> Dunder, then it changes. Dunder Dunder <laughs> then it changes. And it goes, Vic started getting with his girlfriend, but she's taller than him. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all I heard. It sounds like and a bop. I was like, this is so odd. Yeah. It is promising. It, it, yeah? it sounds like an intro to an album. Like it Dunder. does. Yeah. Like Have that. you recorded a reaction yet? No. When are, we gonna, when are you going to do that? Uh... Well, I'm going to do it in a Reddit, not a reaction. Ah, okay. Because there's no video or anything. True, true, true. Yeah, true. so uh, hello. I don't know how you say your name. I, th- I assume it's hello, bitch. <laughs> oh, uh, there it is. Make, yeah. At least make a music video when you're going to do this. Because <laughs> yeah. then I can react to it. <laughs> yeah. Because I saw him in the comments being like, lol, like, oh, I've hacked, it. I've hacked him. I've put this on his thing. And I was like, thanks. I don't want <laughs> <thanks laughs> to video. I don't wanna tell people how to do it. But don't, it, no, don't, don't. Please don't, please, please don't. don't. Please don't. <laughs> but it really, it isn't that hard. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's really not hard at all. But please don't do it. <laughs> but don't like, do that it, one was though. funny, but please not again. <laughs> You're going to wait until have his podcast come out, which would be 100 these <laughs> Yeah. Um, do anyway. I still get the money? No. Of course not. <laughs> I don't know if it's uploaded nah, to my profile. Nah, but you don't. I would probably go through his, whatever his distributor, Districted whoever allowed no. that to happen. Shout out to Districted. Yeah, Districted. They, they are cool. Randolph's VIP code. Nice. Oh, Thanks. you got code as well. Yeah, I do have a code. Brilliant. I'll save that for when I'm a YouTube musician like everyone you else. Get, you get 7% off. <laughs> 70? 7%, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> and I get $5 if you sign up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Everybody's gonna get uh, get. You can get round off five dollars by putting loads of songs on Simon's Spotify play. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Yes. Let's not, please. <laughs> we'll scam the system. Um, but anyway, so you've been on very. Oops, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> you're right, man. <laughs> I just fucked up. I was gonna say you've been on many podcasts in the past. Yeah, I have. But I, I, I was gonna. It sounded like I was gonna say you've been on very many podcasts in the past. Yeah, like an insult. Yeah, but it wasn't an insult. No, but it I'm, is. I'm a bit run down from the various shows I've been going to. Just yeah, couple, we get it. A couple, couple yeah, of big shows, so famous, yeah. big festivals. You yeah. know, I'm a bit worn down. Um, but anyway, um, speaking of people who are less important than me, Simon and Alex, um, you've been on other podcasts in the past. I have. <laughs> I've, I have actually. Do you know that is a fact about me? Yeah. I've been on a few. Yeah. Yeah, I've been on some. Are you, are you a fan of podcasts in general? I really like them. <clears throat> yeah. Because, I mean, I think it's like the most raw form of being able to watch somebody. Yeah. And, you know, it's just so easy just to stick them on and work. Mm-hmm. I find it's hard to concentrate. Yeah. Like, the reason why I love doing podcasts is because 
I it's like the only thing I watch. Yeah. Like, and that's the reason why I want it so much. So I, I know it probably seems like I have so many all the time <laughs> because I'm always I'm always doing them. But for me, it's like the equivalent of uploading a YouTube video. Mm. It's not like an event. It's no, just like no. it's just a it's just a cool thing to do. Yeah. Because it I, really I is. it's like the, also it's the best way to do collaboration. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah, because for, for example, like you know. I mean, we're we're all very similar in what we do, so it's, it would be easy to do a collaboration. But certain people, you know, you, you like, oh, like a, a challenge video or a reaction video doesn't really work with them. So yeah. just having them sit down and just talk, obviously, everyone can do that. You know, because so it's it like really everybody's works. everybody's friends, yeah. uh, and like, and that's so obvious. Like everybody, like we all do football together, mm. and we do. There's so many things going on all the time. But yeah. then, like the idea of being like. Oh, do you want to come and slag somebody off in a commentary video? That just <laughs> obviously wouldn't work. Yeah, it yeah. just wouldn't work at all. Yeah. And it would just also be like really weird. It'd mm. be like if somebody's like, Oh, do you want to come do my Minecraft let's play? <laughs> I'd be like, probably no help to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, so it, it, what's your what are your favourite podcasts? Like outside of the YouTube well, sorry, outside of our circle. Well my favourite I mean, still it will always be Happy Hours Unreal. Yeah. Even yeah. though I'm no longer on it anymore. Yeah. After what's good. I gener- uh, yeah, sorry, after yeah, after what's good. Just after what's yeah, good. Yeah, after yeah, after yeah. Uh, I especially, you know, when you could get the feet in shot. That's my favourite podcast. <laughs> Happy hour. Obsessed with this. <laughs> it's, my it's from an old podcast where my feet are in shot. All right? I'm, I wear socks now. I'm just gonna, because I'm going to say shout out to I never because I uh, Fraser was the one who pointed it out. We were just sat. He's like, he's all right. What is Simon? What is Simon's feet always <laughs> in camera? And it's just, I just can't unsee it now. Every time. You so, know, uh, I never told favorite? me that he runs a Simon Foot account. Yeah, he probably does. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he probably because does. he because he would send me yeah. loads of, every time an episode would go out. I just oh, get I just get no. a, I just get a picture through on Facebook Messenger. <laughs> okay, on Facebook of Messenger. All places. <laughs> Zero, but generally, it's how me and Fraser communicate. Oh, man, man. Facebook <laughs> Messenger. It's the only thing he replies on. Wiki feet. There's my wiki feet. Um, what, what rating oh, what have rating? I got? I got a five star rating. Yes, of course you do. Six. six. I bet you have rating. the greatest portfolio on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Awesome. How did that picture come about? Is it a video? Yeah. You just that's the. Just down. That's the. La- that's the old house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell by the marble floor. Oh yeah. Look that's at not that the house. Place. No, that's a. That's a mansion. That was LA. I got you. This TV is a bit wonky today, isn't it? Well, it's just not lined up straight. Yeah, well, that's what happens. You got a 150 inch TV just off. <laughs> off, off 150 set, inch TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I was gonna say is, we were at home though. Well, Sam was at home, so that's probably why I didn't have socks on. Oh, oh, oh okay. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the old. What until? <laughs> but that's why. But that's, <laughs> that's why I didn't think. Yeah, that's why I didn't think it was a set here. Well, it wasn't. This is like a like, month in, right? This is like our fourth or fifth podcast here. Yeah, because I was like, there's no way you turn up to the studio, you bring your guests there, and then you <laughs> Take go. Your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, we'd just be chilling, and then we're like, oh, let's record the podcast now. Nah, we had no one, no one to film it, we just pressed the camera ourselves. So it's a very, like, a. Uh, we, we always said when we started our podcast, speaking of the podcast topic, is that we just wanted it to be very chill. Yeah. Like, the, the more work you, well, the more actual, like, setup you put into it, the more it becomes, like, a thing. Not, not a chore, because it's not a chore to film it, but more of, like, a. You know what I mean? Like a, like a, a job or a Happy setup. hour gets kind of like that when we were doing that all the time because of the fact that it's so dark in there. But yeah, sometimes yeah. it felt like, if it was just like me and Jack, sometimes it generally feels like, like a police interrogation. Yeah, no, yeah. Because <laughs> you're just looking across each other in this dark room with just these four spotlights on you. Yeah. And, then, and they're not, the lights were always like, they're quite like dim in there. Mm-hmm. And you'd just, be, you'd just be sat there and you'd be like, yeah, so uh, what do you think of this YouTuber? And you're like, oh God. Uh, yeah. Okay, it was, was, when I went as well, it was really hot. It was, it was the heat wave. So it's really hot in there, and obviously they had to shut the door when recording to keep the sound, you know, okay. It's so boiling in there. The fan on, it was so hot. But that's that's why I like um, obviously Joe Rogan, obviously probably the biggest podcast in the world. That's why I take a lot from that because he his goal is to make sure everyone's comfortable. Yeah, so it's, it's like make sure everyone's comfortable, make sure it's all about the conversation, and then add in all the other stuff af- afterwards. So yeah, that, that's, that's the main point is making sure that the conversation can exist, and then everything else is just an, an addition, you know. Because Jack, Jack and Stevie and and Robbie and those guys are inhuman because I oh, we used to do two two and a half hours in there and multiple and, times right yeah and i used to i used to be like oh my god i was like i, I was like i i guys turn up with a hoodie every time and mm. forget mm. Uh, it would be an actual nightmare yeah. and especially in the summer the worst place you could ever be yeah. and those guys like i speak to jack still and stevie like quite a lot mm. and it'll be like i've got a six hour day today and i'm like you're a psychopath and you're going to die yeah, because so they're from Norwich, right? So they'll they'll go to the studio they and travel. do a, a bulk bulk recording. Yeah, they do it all, out. man. They right. smash it all out in one day, and it's inhuman because that's set, it, like there's no aircon in there because it's just like a yeah. box. Yeah, it's yeah. terrifying. Well, that's why we. Another thing was, I feel like they've all kind of ventured fully into that and gone like, all right, this is our thing. Yeah. Whereas we kind of had it 
in my flat and it was like yeah we just do it for fun yeah mm. which i mean is, yeah. is the i i think you one of the things about when we did the e-boys podcast mm. what i really missed was oh man doing it in person yeah, in a room yeah. is just like just the there's just moments that you don't get with that slight like 0.25 second delay yeah it's bad it's yeah. bad it really like kills a lot of stuff like a lot yeah. of the flow well we used to do that for in covid peak covid lockdown we, we would do that on discord as well for hours and it just it's not, it's not bad because it's a solution to obviously it's better than nothing but yeah it, it wasn't great because you, you, you the humor you lose all humor because like, all the comedic time is gone because you don't know if you're early or late and you don't know if you're speaking over. Like I, I thought I was speaking over you. You might have thought you were speaking over me. And it's like, oh, oh, oh. It's and just, also, just a flat like, podcast. me and George moved into a new place, and the internet was terrible. So oh, then okay. I would have to disable everybody's video in Discord, so I wouldn't be able to see anybody's faces. It was just <laughs> yeah, audio yeah, only. No. We should audio. Yeah, 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 and it was like I, I really, it just wasn't the same. Yeah, you don't have to, have to use smile in. two cameras. Because you'd have to use one to record, obviously, and then you'd have to have yeah, a separate like webcam. One for, like, yeah, was, I, I, yeah, yeah. Well, it was like it was still really good. I, I always wish that that's the one thing I wish we were still could be still doing now because yeah, yeah. now that everybody is going back out again and everything's relatively freed up, like I just those podcasts in real life would have just been unreal. Yeah, it would have been unbelievable. It would have been so good. Yeah. We got so close. We designed the set and everything. Oh man, yeah, yeah, we were so close to doing it. And it just, I think it, that was the point we were like, well, it's like fully commit yeah, now. Yeah. And like, we're doing this all for like a decade. I think it was like, <laughs> there's no way that we, there's just no way. Timing wise, yeah. Do you not think you could have carried on just like one thing like that? Yeah, but I think one of the problems as well with us lot is uh, 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 beggar's belief. Uh, a few of us are perfectionists. So when we had to go back indoors, I know that really hurt everybody mm. because... Also, it got to this point where we were always being compared to the sidemen, even though we had, you know, <laughs> you guys have been around for ages and yeah, like yeah. really established have all that team going. Whereas, you know, when you guys <laughs> took chip fat yeah. from us, when what? chip fat was taken. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I thought you caught a fly. <laughs> oh, I went, there's I a went fly like flying around. And I thought you caught it. I went it. like this. You went, it was just did you get it? Sorry. Carry and on. Yeah, there's, there's just flies all over this studio. Yeah, when Chip Fat was taken, that, that, was, that, that was brutal. That, wasn't that it? really, that was the I whole, like, yeah. the whole team. I, I generally, I've never <laughs> seen anything like it. Genuine, everybody was like proper depressed. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> well, because he's he's, he's a, such a great editor. Isn't he's, he's uh, real? He, it's turnaround times as well. I've never yeah, seen yeah. Any, I've never seen anything Work like ethic, it. Work ethic, quality, but it, that was savage. They, they just you guys. You, that was that was that was harsh. To be fair, you can't, was, bl- you can't blame me. He was he was so nice. Look, it was transfer deadline day. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're aiming to win the league. <laughs> we told we told him to take the job because yeah, yeah, yeah. we were like, yeah, we're probably not going to be around for much longer. <laughs> Fair enough. I was like, yeah, take. I was like, secure your future. Don't trust in well, me, George, yeah, Will, and James yeah. to, to look after. It's not happening. I feel like all groups that start obviously after the sidemen are going to get com- compared whether it's fair or not fair but I also feel like it, it can be a bad thing but also it's a great thing isn't it because it puts you in that conversation I was and just, even yeah, though you're I, in the conversation you're still there I was you know? glad to just be yeah, yeah. to have it I mm. always wanted a group channel it's one thing I always wanted to do it. Yeah. I always knew that it was not going to last forever mm. like, I've been on YouTube for like five years now yeah, and, I know, yeah. I, I, and I've done podcasts so I know how projects work mm-hmm. and it's like and I'm always the type of person if for me when it isn't fun I'm like yeah I just I do have to just stop doing it yeah, yeah. because it I can't I just I you could tell as well yeah it really shows I can't hide that I'm not having not a good time it. yeah like it's really obvious if I'm like not enjoying it so that, that is a hard part of YouTube you know a lot, a lot of things on YouTube you have to fake don't you you're like, you, have to t- you have to turn up to shoots so and you have to try and pretend you're enjoying it you get I terrible think... news one day yeah and you still got like you got brand LG the next day got sorry mate you're making you're making funny video you're making yeah. reddit reaction video now yeah, I think that's what a lot of people, when when people, obviously when many content creators say they're going through a tough time creating, obviously a lot of people, the audience will say, oh, but you're so privileged to be in that position, you know, I would kill to do what you're doing, which is true. Obviously, we are very lucky to do what you do, but it is, that's the hard part about it is like having to keep a, a straight face when you are going through tough and, times. And, you, and we are very lucky. And I, that's one of the things where now I, I could you know, quite easily, I could totally see why somebody would see all the moaning and complaining is yeah. really bloody annoying because yeah. that's literally what I started making videos on. So I, <laughs> I know exactly how these yeah, people feel, yeah. but it's like, it's things now. I go, I, I go like, well, thank God I am a YouTuber because if I was doing something actually hard, uh, this would completely break me. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm lucky that I can just go. Oh, I'll just watch Disney Plus for a week. <laughs> yeah, you know. Whereas if I had to, like, if somebody was like, oh, you got to go do a shift at whatever mm. tomorrow, I'd be like, oh, I don't think I could go. No, yeah, <laughs> I don't exactly. Think I got it in me. 
it's tough but um but yeah so, so like podcast in the past i've said i'm not trying to list the ones that you've been on, on <laughs> we've had your own as well yeah it, it but, a, and that one's right? coming back that? camp well camp cast isn't so so the first one i did is i did one um with a friend of mine when i had like twenty thousand subscribers Sick. so i don't think people can count that Last one <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> no I, I do i've had immense growth <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I did one like when we started really early on because mm. weird thing about all the commentary channels have podcasts. I know now it's becoming a thing where yeah. now everybody we know does. But I remember when Jack, when we started Happy Hour, he went, do you think it's a bit oversaturated? Oh, and I went, now. <laughs> and I went, we don't know anybody. I no. went, we know, like, I'm trying to think of a back then who it would have been. I was like, was oh, I know a few Americans. Just True Geordies. Brian. Brian was the that only, was the Brian only, yeah. was the only yeah. real one doing it. Well, that and doing it really. Yeah. And he was, the thing is, he was doing it so well. Yeah, he was, yeah. 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 It still scares me when I go on True Geordie podcast. It's so well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been on one. I was on one. Oh, you did the one with, oh. With JJ. And didn't you not talk? Oh. Well, the whole thing was it was a podcast. It was the it was the JJ Logan fight. So yeah. they got Logan on, and then they got JJ on, and they tried to bring someone with them. So I went on with JJ, and every question, obviously, it's JJ's fight. Every mm-hmm. question is directed at JJ. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So I'm sat in silence, yeah. and then the worst thing they can do is point out that you haven't said anything, and it's like 20 minutes in, and someone goes, "Oh, I forgot you were here," <laughs> and I went. <laughs> it's your, it's your little hole it's I, was, I was like, no one's asked me and anything. You can't fake it on a podcast, man, because like, yeah, you, you try and keep up that energy. <laughs> yeah. You try and keep up that energy. And then, like, sometimes about 25 minutes in, you find yourself going, and you're like, oh, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Like, whereas in the video, I'm like, I can go, yeah, guys, I, I, oh, I can't wait to be back. And I go, all right, I'll cut out the bit where I sit yeah, there and go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for two minutes. And also, as well, when you're on, I mean, I imagine it was you, Lawrence, uh, JJ, True Jody. I think that was it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so obviously when, when there's more, obviously there's three it of was now. Right, yeah, I think that was it. it. Yeah. When, when you add more people, obviously you're trying to be funny, and it's trying to be funny. So if someone can feed off that energy of you being like that, they'll do it again. So they'll probably pick on that moment over yeah. and over again or keep reminding you. Uh, that, that's what the, uh, you do the Christmas, is it? Are you on the he Christmas one? did the one? Christmas one. Yeah, I, that's, that's I, like crazy. I drink to forget. <laughs> yeah. anyway, because I, I've, got, I've got myself in trouble so many times on that podcast mm. because like, you get so comfortable and at a certain point you forget there are five cameramen. Yeah, that's what podcasts are great for, but also not great for because you do forget you're actually talking and yeah. we'll, we'll be live. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like it gets to that point where on those Christmas podcasts where if Will wasn't there sometimes, they would have just got it even worse. Mm. Like he saved me so mm. many times. And he wasn't on the last one. Okay. Um, and he texted me like other days like, I'm not going to be there. And I was like, oh, no. so I, I, that's the only one where I just didn't drink. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, if Will's not here, I was like, I just know that I can't trust myself anymore. Yeah. I know that I, would, I just will be like, oh, this would be great for the podcast. And then I get back, I'm like, but I don't want to be the person who goes, well, can you cut that out? Because mm, yeah. that's the worst when yeah. you get oh, a message no, yeah. like that. Yeah. And you don't want to be that guy. I'm like, no, I'm just going to have to brave this. Yeah, especially on a podcast where things don't usually get cut out, right? Like yes. on, on certain shows where they do get cut out, you're like, okay, maybe I can ask them. But when it's like... If it's that seamless conversation. Yeah. And if it's something you want to cut out that normally means for the like hosts, it's like juicy. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, I mean? exactly. Like, that's, you probably said something that's a title. Yeah, that's a bit they want. The worst one was when I did the first one mm-hmm. and I barely knew anybody in London because I'd mainly been on all like the American side of, yeah, yeah. of YouTube because of just with the commentary stuff. There weren't many apart from George and Will, there was they're really the only ones and they yeah. even, and Will doesn't even do it anymore. Mm-hmm. So and I suppose James now, but it was one of those things where I remember being there and just being, I was like, because I, I grew up watching everybody, but they don't have a clue who I am, but I know who everybody is, right. so I'm really nervous. And I just turned up to that podcast shoot and just drank myself to death <laughs> just to nice. try and get through it. Yeah, yeah. Because I knew it was going to be absolutely terrible. Yeah. So what was the other one you were saying? You said you had one when you had 20K subs with your friend. Yeah, and then I did the camp cast with James mm-hmm. where... I mean, James had like 2,000 subscribers Man. and I had 200-ish at that point. And that was great because we literally, it, it, it was so terrible. <laughs> it was like proper uni student vibes because we would, we, it was like his, he had a house with a bunch of his uni friends and we would literally sit on a bed mm. in a room with like two microphones and, and that was it and just one like 720p camera. Yeah, I- and it was so, it was so raw, but also like, 
I it was one of those things where I was really sad that it ended, and we both were. But it got to that point where we were just so busy. After he hit mm. a million, mm. and I was on about like what one point eight ish, we just had so much going on, yeah. and it was and it didn't make any money because all of those episodes rightfully demonetized. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we couldn't if we did that now, it would be bad. Yeah, it yeah. was very. We were very, very like just trying to make each other laugh. Um, yeah. It was like a WhatsApp group chat, but as a podcast. Yeah, and no, 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 no. <laughs> and it's okay. just, yeah, and it Say was no just, more. yeah, it was just like I think some of the episodes have been re-uploaded, uh, not to try and get myself in trouble, which I'm doing right now. Yeah, but yeah. it was a, it was a product of its time. Yeah, I, I remember. I don't know why. Like I just always used to see it on Twitter. Like it always was there. People sure loved why. it. Like, yeah, it just popped up all the time. I think that's the first time I've heard of James. Well, I guess that's why if you had so little stuff at the so, time. It was so good. I think we just matched each other's energy mm-hmm. so well. Um, and I, you could see it in the E-Boys podcast as well. Is you, it, yeah. me, me and James, we still had like that chemistry, just like yeah. it always be there, because that, that podcast was just, we said there were so many things on there that just could <laughs> never be done again. Well, yeah, not, not in that sense, but that's what we always try and say, or did say about this podcast, that it was like, it's very bad. Like, you know, it is a bad podcast, but people enjoy it. But that's why I'm scared now, because we keep upgrading it. It's not Yeah, it's the not whole thing was anymore. like, let's keep it, <laughs> let's keep it kind of shit. Yeah. So that, you know, it's not the main thing we do and it's like an extra little fun thing we turn up we have fun we but I, I watch it because like if you're into if you like you guys then you love the podcast mm. and that's what a podcast should be i i don't i don't want my next one yeah. uh to be like oh all about other people yeah yeah yeah, yeah i do get that because i think that you know the podcast will do better like that. that's what i think why the campcast was on twitter it was mental mm-hmm. because it was like if you really liked us too you'd really love that podcast yeah yeah so that was fantastic for it is, is important as well because obviously we, we, we're getting a lot more guests on now for the podcast you know trying to upgrade it a little bit but we want to make sure that even when it, when it is just us like cause guests are often hard to get like, you can't always like line them up they're busy you're busy etc um so you want to make sure that when it is just you it's not an awful podcast so by saying it's shit yeah, <laughs> it actually is, it works well. Yeah. <laughs> people enjoy it. Um, but now nah, it's just uh, yeah, it's just it's just fun, isn't it? Set podcast the standards so low. Set the standards as low yeah. as possible, yeah. and then go from there. Yeah. But you mentioned you're in a new podcast coming up. So yeah. What, what is the one coming back? I have it's the Internet Sensation one, okay. which was come on. Basically, what I changed the campcast to after it ended. I yeah. said to James, I was like, so I'm really bored in lockdown, and I was like, can I? please just <laughs> i was like can i because i've made the channel ages ago yeah, i think yeah. it was actually before that, i think it was another i think it was originally my old vlogging channel oh, my. so i turned it into the podcast yeah, channel yeah. and i've turned it into and then i turned it into a new podcast channel and then i soloed it mm-hmm. and then i did it with kieran carlin for a bit and then will and he hired him so then he had no time <laughs> so then that ended because of <laughs> that keep getting pinched. I you need to lock people keep, down yeah. bro you need to lock them down <laughs> everybody i just can't make enough John, money sign a contract <laughs> <laughs> sign a contract right now i can't make enough money so um this one is gonna be uh exclusively on spotify with clips on youtube so nice, thank you spotify nice. who, who paid me big up, big up. Uh, which i really appreciate them for doing is um, it with someone or just me okay because i can't have it end again. <laughs> okay, okay. No, that makes but sense. You're, you're gonna have guests. I, I, I've said to anybody, I was like, if anybody comes on and they like it, uh, the one thing that I really loved about when we all did a happy hour was that it was rotational. Yeah, okay, like, yeah, yeah. Because I, people, I think, think that I was a host, but I, me and Stevie always came on. We were always meant to do like one or two episodes like a month. It just right. so happened that, like they were really funny so we just kept on doing them and i said to anybody i was like if we have a really really great episode i was like if you are free i was like feel free to just come back on and on and on and on i was like because you know as you say guests are hard to get yeah and also i i think the idea now of having that like locked in four people that's a nightmare because that's inevitably what killed the Mm e-boys is that we were like all four of us have to be here because oh it's really weird if you don't yeah and you guys have managed to develop that thing where especially with the side men like you can rotate you know yeah, there's yeah. so many people come on like obviously you you come in and yeah, yeah. people like chris and freezy and that lot and yeah. calyx and that's great i think in hindsight i kept on pushing i kept on going oh can we do that but then also it was in lockdown so we couldn't even do that then yeah, yeah. um and it was just such a nightmare with everybody's schedules and also i just think that lockdown really killed off a lot of people's motivation to do yeah. anything yeah no it, so it, it, it's well, the other issue is i think <clears throat> with the sidemen obviously we started it so long ago and now it's so much bigger than all of our own channels mm-hmm. so we'll see it as like okay this is the big thing whereas i think 
with the e-boys it didn't get to that point yet it would have yeah yeah but um you started it you all you all had your own big channels yeah so you start it and it kind of does the same and you're like well this is now it's fun but it's the same size it was also it was also that thing where i think a few of us really don't actually want to be youtubers forever in mm. that sense yeah. and argue and like i'm i w- always wanted to be a youtuber so and so forth but a lot of people just were creative and yeah. youtube is nice. the best place yeah. to showcase yeah. that yeah, sure. like for example james is smashed it with his music mm. and i remember saying to james before we even started it i was like we're probably gonna end up doing music yeah. full time at some point yeah. really i think we all knew that and everybody even when we started we're like yeah well when james eventually like but we thought we'd get at least three years in <laughs> before, <laughs> yeah, yeah. before it got to that point well i think that yeah the, the, the reason the Simon have done so well i said this in the past as well is it's not necessarily because of how great the channel is or how great you guys are in, in videos it's because you you committed to it like you just but that's you, why i think we committed to it because it did well yeah but, but the, the, there was a time there's it, also it, like, so many of you itself. where you can't not where you let someone else down oh you know? yeah, and you yeah. but you let seven people down yeah and yes, plus yes. crew plus everybody else yeah. who now you know works for what is a, now basically a media company yeah, yeah. shout out con shout out james shout yeah. out lawrence you know you that's a dangerous game you're playing shouting out everybody who works for oh, no, everyone, everyone except him I, 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 didn't, I didn't forget anyone yeah no <laughs> oh, did, did i forget someone what, what's, the, <laughs> what's the audio guy tp yeah johnny the audio johnny, yeah. <laughs> he's never yeah. gonna end oh, jo- oh john oh. and john who Oh, I don't know. Just some guy <laughs> over there. Um, no, but yeah. So what I was going to say as well, but to be fair, not everyone, or the Simon wasn't always like a really fun thing to do. Like I remember a lot of time people were like, oh, another Simon shoot, wasn't there? Oh yeah, there, everyone there was goes a time through phases. That was, that was there, but then obviously it got so big that everyone's like, okay, Simon shoot. You know, even if you don't want to turn up to it, you're like, okay, it's big. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So yeah, it's like I think same with the e-boys. You you would have got to that point where it's like, oh okay, like yeah, we're all doing different things, like Simon said, but now it's like, you know, it gets to that point. And YouTube's changed so much since when you guys started it. I don't remember there being, oh, we spent a hundred grand on an island video back when no, back no, when no, I was no. watching this. Back Bro, when all I was our videos are GTA videos. Yeah, 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 yeah mate. Yeah. And and that is and and that, uh, once again, I I mean, I hate to say it, but like we didn't make any money off the e boys, which people yeah. really don't believe. I am like four grand in the hole uh, uh, after doing the Christmas video. Because yeah. um, what ended up happening is we had employees mm-hmm. and then, you know, you set up your company, da, 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 and you put all the money in and then you go five grand for that video and yeah. then you've got to pay for all the camera equipment and the sets. Yeah. And then, you know, you've got to pay for just you know, stuff generally in the video and then you do, well, now everybody, if you want to compete with everybody else, you've mm-hmm. got to put up the That's, same yeah. amount of money. Uh, which is insane because that's not a business model that really works. No, no, well, the entry point right now is yeah. so much higher. Like we started at, yeah. we played GTA for 20 minutes and then we've done this kind of thing. Play pro Whereas, clubs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now the entry level to like main channel is so high yeah. that you have to be willing to like throw away money in the hope that it, will return itself later yeah and, and any like any business person who or, or any investor looking at that model would be like that's that's awful because the amount of money you make on youtube is nothing compared to like what, what goes if into it if you just look at the adsense as well yeah, yeah. oh i killed you yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so it's it's, it's it's a tough thing to do um uh, you never yeah. thought of like because beta squad was through a company mm, i think it's through a company yeah we got really really close at points uh we talking to people but then it just got to that point where with the videos i just don't think we were quite out there again because mm-hmm. that's kind of always what we've been like yeah. and it was just one of those things where also because it was so new yeah and understandably as well i don't think many people trusted that it was gonna last yeah right, so yeah. but when you could you know, there's so many hypotheticals where you could go well if we got an investment da, 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 if we did this but then also i don't think anybody wanted to tie themselves down to that we nearly that's got right. a house yeah. and then i i i there was a point where i reckon if i'd have really pushed it it would have happened like if me if we like if we'd have gone we're gonna do it but i remember being like for the first time i was like i actually as much as i would love to do it and for six months we'd be it would be insane and yeah, everybody would be killing yeah. it i was like we will we'll all kill each other yeah. <laughs> uh will was the first place like will was like yeah we should get a house and i remember will went actually i've really thought about it and i think we all want just want a dog and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. that's it that's fair. yeah yeah i was like and then we hate each other and if somebody doesn't do something it's just gonna be you know it's gonna it's gonna be terrible it's true imagine it's like imagine the seven house with all seven of you in it that, that'd be yeah. awful wouldn't it? Like, it, it would you would have clashed a lot so I think well, we've mentioned the idea of like the last the last house we had we mentioned mm. the idea of like oh 
what if everyone lived there and we kind of just went it's just not for everyone and it's like the dynamic works so well right now that i'm sure it'd be fine if we if everyone moved in but yeah you don't know why risk why risk it yeah yeah no yeah and obviously when you guys first moved in together it was the siren wasn't a thing yet was it it It, it was not big but also ethan was still at school toby was at uni in coventry yeah and harry was like 11. And, so. <laughs> yeah, so it was mainly just, that was mainly when it started the GTA stuff, wasn't it? You'd film together, but it wasn't like yeah. necessarily the ultimate Sidemen yet, or? Uh, it was the ultimate Sidemen on GTA, oh, but okay. Sidemen wasn't a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it's, but yeah, so it's not, it's not like you guys were a group and were like, oh, no. that's, that's... I mean, my YouTube was barely a thing at that point. Yeah, yeah. My like, yeah. main income was Be- JJ's clothing line. Yeah. But that out of it. curiosity, like, I'm sure you guys, did you hang out a lot before the Sidemen became a thing? Because we- On Skype. <laughs> on Skype. It was literally on Skype. Like, yeah, we, we didn't, didn't meet Ethan. We didn't meet Ethan for like six months, eight mm-hmm. months or something like that. I kind of got to this Went point to where there was this w- <laughs> yeah, there was this weird realisation where we were like, have all four of us ever been in the same room more than three times? Mm. <laughs> and like, I used to always be there. I used to always try, I always want to try to get everybody around. Yeah. Like, I always really like pushed the idea because I just thought like, I just thought it looked like such a laugh. Mm-hmm. Um, I also just knew that everybody would be really, uh, the videos would be great. And the videos on that channel are, so, are still the favorite things I've ever made. Yeah. It's kind of hard to leave those yeah, no, Yeah, for sure. Because I'm like, oh, I just don't feel like I can make anything half as good without mm-hmm. us as a, without the other three. Yeah. And that's a, that's a weird thing. But it was also that thing where we were like, yeah, this is strange because, you know, yeah, we talk on Discord a lot, and we, especially mm. in lockdown. Yeah. But then we kind of realized in lockdown, that was the first time that we all actually properly would speak to each other for like six hours a day. Yeah. And then it was like, yeah, we all live in this, like, at the time, in that four-minute radius. At one point, we were all in the same building. Um, but even then, you know, it'd be, I'd be with James, and then mm. James would be with George, and then it'd be me, James, Never and Will. And then nobody was ever, because every, every, like... I don't know. It just never seemed to happen. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's what that's what the beauty of the original, the first lockdown was. Obviously, this this crazy time in the world. But there was it, that that first part was fun because kind of like oh, everyone's locked in. You, you you lose a lot of responsibilities you have. It's, it's an excuse to kind of play games, sit on Discord and stuff. It so went we, back to the old days. Yeah, fully. We, we did we did the um the the quiz shows or the, the game shows, right? Oh, like quiz nights, quiz like pub nights. quiz. Yeah, we, and then after that, we'd play like Jack, uh, Jack in the Jack Box. Box. Jack Box. Jack together. Box is great. We, we, yeah. we were actually playing it, not for a video or anything like that. It was just fun, and it just felt amazing. And then yeah, we just did pro clubs, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then after time goes on, you just you, you drift away, doesn't it? Well, that's, gets back that into is work. what we used to do. Like we used to be on, like we would jump on a Skype call at like ten or eleven p.m. every night and be on there till like five a.m. Mm. And people would just be editing in the background or whatever, and then you'd be like, oh, I've just finished my video, it's rendering, do you wanna play a game? That's what I used to do. Yeah. Those are great times I, I never well. understood it before. So like, back when you guys used to do that, like I'd just be sat at home, obviously I'd be making music with JJ or something, and then he'd just ring me on Skype, and I, I always treated it like a phone call. Yeah. So I was like, hello, um, you all right? He's like, yeah, yeah, what's, what's up? And I'm like, um, yeah, Skype can I help? A Discord <laughs> or Skype call, you can just sit there, like you could not, it sounds really cheesy, and it sounds like I'd be in love with you if I said this, <laughs> but Got to go for it. Like we could sit there and not talk for an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we're both just sat there, just watching. Like you'll watch a video, and I'm watching a separate. Me and video Fraser still do that. Yeah, we yeah, both we though. both work on call uh, yeah. because it's one of those things where we know it kind of like motivates other person to do stuff, and because also like you you get conscious about the fact that you're not doing anything, so it makes you do something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which yeah. I always found really useful because I like one thing that people don't tell you about being a YouTuber is you have to be your own self motivator mm. and that's a nightmare. Some so you will need to really you, can't do it. Yeah. Well, you, you need to find someone else who goes, yeah, do yeah, you, work. You, do. You, like, you need someone to look at your YouTube studio, but they've changed it now. So it's not <laughs> your YouTube it's, studio. It's not red anymore, is it? It's gray. The down arrows are gray. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 it's, so no, it's, it's red for me. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's just a minor sign. Yeah. 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 But no, so uh, yeah, it, it, and Discord calls as well. So look, Laura, it, it drives Laura insane because my wife, because she's like, um, oh, you know, you never talk to me on the phone like that. Like, I'll, I'll be on the phone with her for like a minute or two, right? And then I go and speak to some bloke. <laughs> Shout out to Adam B. He's just, he's just a guy from Leicester. We play, he's one of my mods. We play games together and stuff. And but it's just, different. So you sit with him for like four hours. I'm like, yeah, it's different. Like, cause we're not talking. We're just there. You know, with Laura, I'm like, oh, how you doing? You know, you had a good day, and I'm like, there's nothing well, else. When you're to on talk a phone call, it, that is your concentration. Yeah, like, and also you like you like this. And all, but even if you put it on like speaker and just leave it on the side, yeah, yeah. like your concentration is still on the call. Yeah, a Discord call. If I'm in a call with you, like you haven't got my attention for yes, the yeah. four hours we're on the call. You've got it in little bits, and yeah. the same vice versa. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like it is, it's just a way of 
it, it's like for example now i don't sit in a call most of the time during mm. the daytime i have a twitch stream on all the time yeah, yes yeah. like yeah. every time i'm on the pc i have Background a twitch stream noise, open yeah. and then at night i'll join a call it's it's yeah. very different to a phone call yeah and i say i say to laura like if you want to like, go sit near the room put discord on and jump in if you want yeah no <laughs> I, 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 I told you like, that me, like, and no. George, me and george yeah. sit in like on discord yeah. in the flat yeah like it's just what it's everybody in the house knows, yeah. like i i saw people the first house, I'd see them when we go get food or whatever, or yeah. we'd have like a 3 a.m. kitchen conversation. And that's yes, about they it. were the best times, man. I, but I, I would spend five hours a day on a call with them. And yeah. I'm, I'm 15 yards away. Their yeah, room is like right there. Was, when I was staying at the house, right, they would, they would go and film together. So, all oh, right, eight o'clock, we're going to go film now. So I've just been chatting to all of them, just sat there in the kitchen having a great time. And then next minute, everyone goes to their room. But they're all on, they're all chatting still, still <laughs> in, and they're like, "Ha ha ha, Sam, that's so funny." And I'm, I'm just sat in the, in the hallway, like, "Great." Yeah. You just hear them all having fun, and I'm just sat there on Twitter scrolling. Yeah, like, what's going on? Yeah, I, I stopped using like Discord when I moved to London because then I would just sit on a MacBook in the middle of the living room with Will and George next oh, to me, MacBook. and I yeah, and I would just edit. Can't I just edit in front yeah. of them. I was like, oh, I don't need to, yeah. you know. And then it was easy because you just go, what do you think of that? Is that mm, good enough? Mm. You know, did I slag somebody off really badly? Should I cut that? <laughs> <laughs> Is JJ going to hit me? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. All right, yeah. I'm going to <laughs> go back to editing it again. I think, I think it's a map, map book. No, I back like, book, mate, no. <laughs> No, I, I, no, like, I a, like a knockoff, like a knockoff cheap version when yeah, I was a, just yeah. a small YouTuber. So you mentioned that, uh, you said about the e-boys, obviously people had different things and what they wanted to do after. Yeah. Like at the end, what do you want? What's your like? You said James wanted to do music. That's where is, he'll go. Yeah, I think it's obvi he's mu obviously music. Always just going to be music. Been doing music since I met him. Um, mm -hmm. And like, you know, I like doing music, but I, I just don't think it's a viable career path for me. I don't think it's like something that I'll ever be good enough at. And also just like, I think after the commentary thing, I'd understand if there was such a stigma against it. Mm -hmm. Like I know James has to try and shake that off. And it's like, you go, you slagged all that off. And it's like, well, they, it's a, you, satire and joking. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. I know a lot of people, you know, cause, yeah, so some people just don't understand that, you mm -hmm. know, you're a multifaceted human being. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. some of it's meant to be, you know. You also not, can't change as well. Yeah, no, and you can't change your opinion. <laughs> no, no yeah. I'm apparently going to be the same person I was when I was 17, <laughs> which is terrifying. Yeah, I mean, people yeah. are still probably angry that you're sat here and I've gone, I hate commentary. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. That I'm, I'm going to chat about that in a bit. That yeah. was the first, yeah, we, yeah, we come on to that. Because I remember when we did that video, and I was just reading the comments. So I was like, well, you know, he's not going to hit me. I was say it would be so strange. Yeah. But yeah, like for me, I just... I love video. Mm -hmm. Like, I think the reason I, I've been doing music stuff yeah. and learning ukulele and stuff is not because I want to uh, wanna be a musician. I want to make music videos. Yeah. Like, that's what I went to college for. I went to college for video production. I always see myself a lot, uh, and I've had a few offers from people where, like, if you really, really just don't think you can hack making your own stuff anymore because, you yeah. know, mental health and all that, then, like, you should just... You know, ask people, you can just shoot stuff for you. Because I'm sure people go, well, yeah, he's probably will have a decent idea of at least how to make a YouTube video at yeah. least, you know. Yeah. I'd like to say I've picked up some stuff along the way, yeah. you know. So I think I'd probably go into that. I could very much see myself, well, I'd like to work in the back end of YouTube for mm. for ages. Yeah, That'd be cool. Because I feel like it's always evolving. Always yeah. new people. Like you guys just had Tommy on. I met Tommy yesterday. Those guys, like I, I would, I would love to be able to work with people. I want to produce podcasts. Yeah, no, as well. yes, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, that's something I enjoy as well. It's, it's it, what, speaking to Tommy, you you see how like much he's switched on about the back end of YouTube and the um, analytics. Analy yeah, yeah, analytics. I don't say that wrong. Analytics, which is really fun, <laughs> and, and that's such a fun part of YouTube. When it's your own channel, it's hard to do because you get the, the emotions there, isn't it? You used to be able to do it. Now, like. Uh, generally just ruins me. Yeah, but, the, the but that's because you've been doing fun. it for so how, long. how long you've been doing it for? Five now? years now, I'd say. Yeah. See, Tommy is still very excited, and it's. I'm not saying he shouldn't be, but yeah. One day when again. talking <laughs> to him about it, I was sat there thinking, I think in four or five years, like yeah. you're gonna had, stop. You have to stop. When I at some moved point. here, and like you guys, invite, you invite me to football and meeting everybody and going to those first sideband parties. Yeah, every I day. That's where I first met you. Yeah, every yeah. day I get back and I'd be like, "This is the greatest day of my life." Yeah, like, this yeah. is the best <laughs> thing ever. And I wasn't even on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Uh, I just be like, "Yeah, this." Oh, like every when I moved to London, that first year and a half, every day pure ecstasy yeah. i'd upload a video and i go and this video did better than the last one yeah and then after when after e-boys because i hadn't uploaded for six months mm -hmm. with the e-boys because i put all my time into that and i also knew i was like 
of a, po a certain point this is going to end and then I'm going to have to go back to my channel that I haven't used for a year yeah. and I'm lucky I've got the e-boys because if I didn't have the e-boys I'd be even more <laughs> fucked yeah, I'd be yeah. double fucked <laughs> like, double fuck <laughs> yeah that's it yeah TikTok <laughs> and then I was like oh man and then for the first time ever it was like you know, every video gets less and less views, but, it? but it's the first time that's ever happened yeah yeah so it's like to adapt to that where yeah. you're just used to going and then suddenly it's like you know even plateauing you get to yeah. that point where you go when's the next one gonna do yeah i just thought i'd get a million and then two and then three and then four million and then yeah, five yeah. and then and i just thought it would never end and well, it's like think, no yeah. and even though you tell yourself oh it's also unrealistic nobody nobody actually thinks everybody's like no, I'll be the one. I'll, no, I, I, yeah, I always. Well, they, well, obviously, distracts is, trends has always been a thing on YouTube, right? So when, when the distracts were going around and we were making them or doing reactions, you know, Simon and the guys were like, it's good now, but just, just, just get ready for depression because it happens. Like, it, go, it goes up and it, it will have to come down. Unless someone's releasing a distract for the rest of their life, you know, yeah. it's going to go down at some point. But even though you guys prepared me for it, it's like, nah, I'm, it's not going to happen to me. And, and then it happens and you're like, okay, yeah, this is man. It's like, it's, you, 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 the thing is, if you were if you, if you were someone on someone else's channel, if you were the manager of someone else's channel, you'd just say to them, "Don't worry, it's just it's just like a month or two, get back into it, keep going." But when it's yourself, you wake up and you're like, "My life's over. My it's, life's over. My life is <laughs> over." It's also I was very lucky. What everybody I knew has made it, mm. which is really strange. Everybody who uploaded regularly, everybody made it. Mad, Not yeah. a single person didn't make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because they're like you know everybody just told everybody how to do it. Yeah. So there's that weird thing where. And because and commentary was such this weird thing where only a certain amount of people doing it, but it was so massive yeah. because obviously it was like, it, you could say it's understandable why people watched it. Mm -hmm. Like it's one of those things where we were just getting way more views than a normal channel of a million subscribers would have. Yeah. All my friends who do gaming videos, their views fluctuate massively, mm -hmm. but I never had that. It would just be like, if you do a video on James Charles, you get a million views. <laughs> and if you do a video on KSI, you get a million yeah, views. Yeah. Don't do a video on somebody really he's like you know because like really i mean you're just kind of yeah. and the worst video you get would be like half a million back then <laughs> and you everybody everybody would be in the room would be going oh fuck i only did half a million it's a week crazy, isn't and it? you look i look back at that now and i go oh give me half a million a week yeah, please yeah, yeah, i was yeah, like yeah. i take, take that in a heartbeat yeah, i was yeah, like it's, when, you, when, and when you were younger you'd probably say to yourself you know i mean i'm not sure if it's the same for you but you'd say oh if, if only i could just get like thirty thousand videos per video Wait, 30,000 views per video would be great. And then you surpass that and you're like, oh man, I remember when I said that. It's but hard to kind of it continue. Com and then it comes competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because as much as, you know, every, one of the things that most easy way to self-motivate yourself is like, you don't want to be the one person in your group who is doing the worst. No, Because no. <laughs> it's really, 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 really depressing. Yeah. And I've seen it like... <laughs> <laughs> That's outrageous. <laughs> it. So your reaction's worse because your reaction made it like, oh, yeah, damn, that's that hit hard. <laughs> well, that's just that a nice thing to do. Because no, no. that's what Sorry. I used to have happen <laughs> no, to no, me. No, no, it's all right, guys. I, I don't mind, you know. I haven't performed at Leeds and Reading. Yeah. True. I no, have. You perform one in tens on the Simon Mini Minute YouTube channel. That's true. That's true. That true. <laughs> but no, no, it's, it's true. And same with it's, 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 You have that um, competition with the Simon, right? Like, so many of you, like, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, but now it's at the point where I think everyone just cares about the side mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no one really cares about their own thing. You no. can't really do worse than everyone when you have the exact same shares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's true, yeah. It's true. But th that's where it comes from because everyone has different interests, right? So you're talking about like James, your music, you know, some people have those, like I guess Ethan with like, the, he, he, found, he found fitness and that's kind of one of his things, you know, so he's... <laughs> he found fitness. <laughs> he found fitness. <laughs> he did. I know what you mean. I 100%. It's just you need funny. to have a getaway. Yeah, no, for sure. You do. I, I did. I didn't. You My whole hobby. life was YouTube, yeah. and uh, yeah, it drove me generally insane. Well, that's what I got into Pokemon. There's a way to get out of YouTube and music. That was when the distracts were going on. And I was getting really stressed. I was like, you know, I need something to just take my mind off things. So I started opening Pokemon, but then I turned that into my job as well. And now I've got the same feeling I had with music with Pokemon. So was, you, you can never run away. It was <laughs> when I, I realized I had like a, a proper problem where I football used to be my whole thing. And even though I wasn't good at all, it's always things where every kid was like, maybe somehow one day I'll just get good. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, which uh, nothing works that way, by the way. Mm. You don't just get suddenly gifted with the ability, <laughs> by God. But, yeah. I, you know, I just it'd be at least to live football constantly, trading match attacks, you know, playing FIFA every day, going out, playing football in the field to my mates. And then YouTube just straight swapped that. Mm. And then I realized at a certain point, I was like, I haven't kicked a football in three years. Mm. And I was still in my head like, I love football. I, and, I, and, I, and then I was like, 
No, well, I, I haven't done... I literally... All those things I did that made me a human for 16 years, yeah, yeah. I don't do any of them mm, anymore because yeah. I, I live in London. I don't have any of my friends from home. Yeah. So everybody I know is YouTubers. And I don't... I literally wasn't doing anything... And I wasn't even playing FIFA at that point because I wasn't playing my friends from home and yeah. nobody, and uh, uh, with commentary people, <laughs> they didn't care about FIFA. <laughs> so I, I kind of realized I was like, I'm oh, chasing this YouTube thing. I've just gone down this pathway, which actually is not me at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, it's, and it's a new you, isn't it? It's, it's the new you. It's just a complete new person. What, what the audience can see. Yeah. Also get, it seeks into what you, who you are. So you, you start to be who you are oh, on, you on YouTube. Start, especially with commentary stuff because it's all like, got a tread in that you yeah. know there's a commentary channels all became basically one entity yeah. because it was like this is what's safe and we did kind of really got to decide what was you know if somebody does that though you know you gotta do that brand deal yeah you know and it would yeah. be like insane and it got to that point where i was like oh this is not what i wanted to do i wanted to be like a fifa youtuber mm. and now <laughs> i'm like now if i played fifa people go what the fuck are you doing yeah yeah it's like people just don't believe that that I am, I because you know, for me, all my mates from home, they see me like a different human being to people on YouTube. Yeah, they they see the YouTube stuff and they're like, "Who is that guy?" Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, "Yeah, I don't know what happened." Do you get you know if you, if you ever speak about football on like say your your pages, do people always say like, oh, what <laughs> "Flops"? You, what do you know about football? <laughs> yeah, well, it's one of those things where when people found out we were playing football, it's short it. People are like, yeah. "What the fuck?" They're like, yeah, "What's he doing?" There? I'm, uh, I come from like a FIFA background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they still say it to me. Yeah, <laughs> they're still like. <laughs> You're not a real football fan. And I'm like, how many games do I have to go to before I get accepted? Yeah, it's crazy. Now that we get, we got invited though, so they can't. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> but that, that, the crazy I'm still going to take the free tickets. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go so so many of the UK YouTube scene is FIFA. It's just football. It's it, all it came FIFA from though. That. It's all yeah, FIFA. That's, that's how I, I met JJ through FIFA. I met all you guys through FIFA. Like FIFA is like the the hub of everyone. And that's why we've got so many we've got so many football fans. We know it's like you know you do something and just it's just football. Well, fans the guys everywhere. who are big now, like Nico and Chunks. I met those. I guys. remember them. I met those guys yeah. at Insomnia Gaming Festival '57, and I don't think they remember. And at the time, we were all FIFA YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all what we all were. I met, well, I met Nico at uh, Calyx Meetup. He yep. was a fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, yeah, he was a huge like FIFA fan kind of thing. Well, I, I remember all them lot. Like, uh, is it like Trunks, like Rashawn Z, um, Keanu? Yes, PG the classic. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember they did like Trunks did a group, didn't they? Mandem. They had, had a Mandem Trunks group was before. Who was, was, was he not? No. You might think it was. You're exactly talking like the real SMA. Is that? Yeah, you're oh, talking okay, like okay. PG, okay. Keanu, all of them. Trunks was, Trunks was friends, right, with that group. Maybe, but I don't think he was in. I think we. I, I remember I fifty seven and everybody was kind of in a circle. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's just crazy looking back because like they, they worked really hard. I remember like Nick Nico's videos. Like they were. I used to watch his videos when he had like a thousand views, but they were oddly they were very cringe. But they were oddly entertaining. Oh, you've got to. You ever go through that stage? Yeah, but, yeah. but, but I'd but, say well, I'm still doing it. But but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like fair play for him to for him to continue because he had something, but it just wasn't really well, where it was yet. Everybody who carried on. Yeah, everybody made it. You have to carry on, yeah. Like I, I patch. literally, and me and George were speaking about this the other day. We were like, everybody who literally uploaded consistently for two years, mm -hmm. all has at least like a hundred thousand subscribers. Mm. Um, you know, I know editors with three hundred k subscribers because yeah. at the time we were just making videos, and yeah, you know, not everybody's channels or last the long run for so many multitude of yeah. reasons. Yeah. But it's like you know, everybody actually did kind of like churn mm. some form of profit relatively from the YouTube oh, stuff. Well, you look at the, um, if you look at YouTubers like Quevel and, you know, is it Slugger? Sl 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 Slugger and Man. Jelly Quevel. and those yeah, guys. Yeah. That's what they do. They, ju they just like, no offense, they churn content out multiple times a day and then it just, it just grows. Well, and grows I remember those guys had like 50,000 subscribers. Yeah, and, and they just, and they now just look work. at them. Yeah, yeah. And, and you've got people like, um, like Lachlan, you know, he, he just swaps games. You know, gamers, they would play a game, then it, it Find a new one, then a new one, and then you land on something like Fortnite, and it just goes. I clear. have this belief that, uh, 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 mainly from my, so I can sleep at night. That <laughs> no YouTube channel is ever truly dead until you actually properly go. No, I just can't. Mm, yeah. I mentally can't keep up with it anymore. You can yeah. reinvent yourself. You know, you can reinvent the content. Yeah, that's because that's kind. Of, I think that's where I'm at at the moment. Where mm -hmm. I'm like, I had to take that year off because I was like. I just can't keep on going down this uh, hole because now it just doesn't feel anything close to what I want to do, yeah, and yeah. Uh, it causes way more problems than it is. And I just want to—I want to. E Boys was great because it was like being able to make videos without treading on anybody's toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah and well, that was I, so fun. 
I guess we could talk about the commentary style content um, for a bit. Because Simon obviously. hates them. Well, no, I, I always remember back to that, <laughs> that, that <laughs> clip from the podcast because I remember when we were speaking about it and, and the way you said it, it was like, I just hate. No, it, well, it, you was like, oh man, commentary channels, I just hate them. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you couldn't think it's about what else to say. It's not a controversial opinion. <laughs> no, yeah. But, but I guess what you said there is quite interesting where the fact that the videos are doing so well. So it's like, I guess it's hard to stop, isn't it? Or it's hard to like, readjust I always doing so well. And I always thought I was one of the good ones mm -mm. but that's also like a really kind of like i suppose egotistical thing to say where i was like no but i'm no i'm i'm right or doing the right thing yeah i'm doing and like and i also thought but for me you know i def i did do a lot of videos defending people um but at the same time what i didn't like was even a video defending somebody had to be uh packaged as if i was like about to ruin their life no but, but they, they are the, the videos are so entertaining like they just are like i think as humans if you're funny enough they're great yeah. man well it's, it's like i think they were talking about love island as well and they were saying the reason love island is so is so rewarding to watch is because you know people it, it makes you feel better about yourself because you know these people are kind of you know having awful arguments and it's very embarrassing you know here, and it's nice to watch people fail at stuff. you get to pick somebody and go look at all of this shit yeah, yeah. i'm better than that yeah, and, and then they're so attractive, but they're still, you know, idiots. And, and I, I got to that point where when I started, every video was not funny at all. I was just generally going, fuck this guy. This is when I was like 17. I was like, fuck this guy. They suck. Uh, and I and I would never do that. As a 17 year old, it's really easy to say that, though, mm -hmm. really, when you have absolutely no life experience. And then it got to that point where I was like, oh, man, I didn't even want my videos to be like this. I, I always wanted to be funny, you know, yeah. like it was it, that was kind of that was the aim. And I was like. No, I, I, I've just because what would happen? I'd just turn the camera, and I would generally, just, I wouldn't even write anything. I'd just go yeah, for it, yeah. and that's a mistake. Don't do that ever, <laughs> uh, and then look back on that uh, on the internet. So it got to that point where I did when it when the We Need to Stop videos came in, and I, the reason why they took off because the funny thing is when I was trashing people, nobody fucking wanted to watch those because mm. I just looked like an angry like kid. Yeah, yeah. That was really it. Like, and why would you want to watch that? It's irritating. But then with, when the We Need to Stop videos came about, I would script them mm -hmm. and I'd make sure the first eight minutes was all jokes. And yeah. all of the jokes as well, if you go and watch all of them, is like somebody will do something and then I'll go, what an idiot. I'd never do that. And then I would do it mm -hmm. to be like, oh, I'm also as bad as them. That, you know, self-deprecation to save yeah, my, yeah. you know. But I, I thought that was funny because it got to that point where I was kind of weirdly playing like a character. Mm -hmm. um, but then also what was dumb is that the last two minutes I give my genuine opinion and you can't do a character piece for eight minutes where you're going what an idiot I can't believe he'd, he'd do that thing and then I pretend to do it and then at the end go yeah but actually it, now seriously it's re it was really bad the whole time <laughs> because then people thought the whole yeah. thing was just my whole opinion and then you just end at that point now with all of these videos where they're like 50% jokes 50% me going yeah but fuck them and it's very easy to just look at all of them and go, which one is the joke and which one is the opinion? Yeah. yeah. Well, because the thing for me was more like, I know I said I hate commentary channels. People took that very just broad. Yeah. Of, I hate every single person that does a commentary video. Yeah. I meant it more as like, um, there's people that will just point out someone's mistake that sometimes were just genuine mistakes. Mm. And then kind of just basically go like, oh yeah, I'm making a video to basically just try and cause their downfall so I can get some, some views, views, really. Yeah, yeah. When sometimes, you know, some things are justified, etc. But there were some... Like actual crimes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 There were some, crime. you know, or someone, um, I think you did one actually about merch. Yes. No, a yeah. merch back, ones. Yeah, I did some a few are merch like, ones. You know, if, they, if they are charging too much, I don't know if it justifies a whole... Video. The, the thing is yeah. with those, I would always do that thing where I I then go. I did the JJ Siwa one, but then the whole time I did the whole ir irony for like eight minutes. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it! And I was like photoshopping it to be like twenty five grand for a t shirt. <laughs> and then at the end, I went, oh, and by the way, here's my clothes. It's like fifty quid for a hoodie. And uh, and like I look back at that now, and I'm like, the main pr problem about that is it just wasn't very funny. Yeah, yeah. I think I think like if I if I went back and looked at it now, and also in hindsight. I don't actually have a problem with that at all. And I was joking in those videos, yeah. but for the majority of them, maybe not the early ones, I was definitely like, how dare they? Um, whereas now, as somebody who, and this is the thing, as somebody who now runs a clothing company, mm. I go, 
Oh yeah, I see why they charge that much. <laughs> so, of course, yeah. I have like I've got employees and and people who rely on me selling clothes to live. Yeah. I look back and I go, yeah, that would be seventeen-year-old I'm Alex's opinion on on running a merch <laughs> that's, store. That's what, that's what it's all about because it, you have like three different components, right? So say you have you have your, yourself, then you have the person you're speaking about in the video, and then you have the audience, you know. And, and again, as audience members, it's so great to watch these videos because it makes you feel better about yourself. You know, you're looking at this big celebrity, like say Gabby Hanna or something, someone who's so successful. It's nice to see you know, then fail. Like as a viewer, it is. It's nice to say, oh, what have they done wrong this week? I'm going to watch that video. I find it enjoying it. You know, drama alert. That's why drama alert is so easy knew, to watch. It's only new Gabby watching all of that. I was like, oh, I'm seeing like two completely different sides. And that's yeah. another thing. Now, I know everybody and basically everyone as well. But I did that on pub. I knew that I wouldn't be able to see commentary forever because I actually did like I feel people. like a lot of commentary channels have done that. Yeah, Obviously, well, when I was saying this, this was seven years whatever well it was like four, four years ago five years ago but also commentary like, channels don't like me so it's like it's not <laughs> but i feel like a lot of commentary channels as well when they start they are like slating people that three years later they meet they go yeah oh, they're actually they're actually quite a nice guy and then they don't slate them anymore i always said and i said this way back in the day to everybody i went if you want to uh, be able to do this forever and be really happy doing your commentary videos. I was like, just don't make any friends. Yeah, you, you got you got to not grow. You got to, you got to realize that this is my lane. I'm gonna stay in my room or whatever. And I'm gonna do this forever. I could have done. We need to stop forever. <laughs> yeah, uh, and just waited for every person to do to something. Up, yeah. but like uh, the idea of doing that generally makes me ill. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just was. That was just not the thing. I was like, it got to that point as well where, well, when I started to realize that. Uh, when I read the comments and then somebody would be like, I really hope so and so like kills himself. I was like, okay, I mean, it's time to wrap up this gig. You yeah, know, well, it was fun when people seemed to get it. Um, but then when it got like, when they were getting a million views a video, you just can't control them. And, yeah. and you're making something inherently negative. Yeah, but, 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 well, like, honestly, if you're seeing that much, yeah, you see a million views per video, wow, like, it's so hard to step away from that, isn't it? It's so hard to be like, I'm probably doing something that's not quite right here, but I'm still going to do it. I just always did my TV reaction videos. Mm -mm. That was my safe space. <laughs> yeah. And but when you're like that long ago as well, I feel like you haven't got the experience to understand that actually you are causing the effect that you're having on the person. Yeah, yeah. Because like I might make a joke about you, for example. Mm. Uh, it doesn't really work because I know you so well. But yeah, back then I'd probably think like, oh, it's kind of just funny. Whereas now I'd think actually, if someone else, uh, I think now I'd think, oh, that'd be kind of annoying if it happened to me. Yeah, so I wouldn't do it to. That's that's what it is. It's like you know, you you watch these videos and you enjoy them until it's about you, and you're like, oh, yeah. now it's too far. But then yes, th in that in that reality, it's too far for everyone because you know. Everyone is someone, you know. So Zoella, I'd say, like with the with the advent calendar thing, right? I imagine, you know, Zoella, you know, back then, much younger, doing really well, you know. And then someone approaches her, oh, do you want to do the advent calendar? Yeah, that sounds great. You want to say no? You know, here, here's the prices, here's this, here's and you're like, okay, cool, yeah, sure. You have got these all these marketing people speaking to you. It's, it's, it's always very like hard it's going to be no. in boots or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, sounds amazing. You know, why would you turn that down? And then you then, trust them as well because you should. Like, yeah. you know, they're going, we're going to pay you this, and you know, and you're going, okay, cool. The reason why YouTube is so successful or has been so successful and the reason YouTubers has been, have been so successful is because it is just normal people. It's normal people learning, growing and getting better at things. These people aren't all PR trained. These people aren't all like, you know, products of marketing school. They're just people. So they're, they're going to mess up at some point. And um, also some stuff really is like what is portrayed on the internet couldn't be further from actually what really, really, really happened. Yeah, but that's, that's why the satire part of it is fine because at first, you know, you can think, oh yeah, it's just satire. You know, it's just, you know, mock, mock the week type content. You know, just making fun of people and it's like yeah that, that was like, always my but defense then it, like, then it, then it, in certain areas it can get it can hit a nerve can't it or yeah it, it, a bit it, too far it got, or... it got to that point where the thing is when i started commentary i had 2000 subscribers and uh keemstar reacted to my video on live stream uh and he had like a million at that point mm. so i just got like literally oh, as soon as i started i knew exactly what it was like to have somebody make a video on me yeah i watched yeah. keem just fucking destroy me for an hour and <laughs> um, i but i thought it was really funny and i was just glad to be involved mm -hmm. and that was why i did it for so long so i was like well i got to that point i was like well i suppose this is how this is the space i fill yeah. in the machine i guess and then also you get to that point as well where i was like maybe i maybe i'm not funny Mm. And maybe I'm just really, really lucky that I like nailed down this n niche and was almost like didn't want to let it go so much. That I just carried on and carried on and carried on. But it got to that point where I was like, you know, I think when I started seeing my 90 Day Fiance videos are now my most viewed videos on my channel. I was like, I actually never was popular for those. They did well in the yeah, first yeah. week. And this is the curse with YouTube is 
those first week views are such a lie. Like, mm-hmm. you look at the stuff is actually on your channel now what the most popular stuff is that people actually wanted to watch no, all my videos yeah. all my TV stuff and the stuff I did with other YouTubers people in reality probably got massively turned off by all those videos where I was just blitzing people yeah, left yeah, right and centre yeah. some enjoyed it but then some did, you know, maybe, maybe didn't and then I ended up I mean I was one of the last people Leaf you ever made a video on mm. that was the, that was the last that, <laughs> before his channel got taken down yeah um, so yeah I, I, mean, I, I mean I said the same thing when I, when I was with Alfie Days and a lot of people didn't like my take but the one thing I think people forget about me, the reason why I knew so much about YouTube is because I was a fan mm-hmm. of everyone mm. and like not just like, uh, oh, I have a big, big, big fan. Like I know a lot about it. More, nah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, I know a lot of stuff. Like I could name like first videos people upload and stuff now, like when that. I, when, I, when I first met you, I think it was at the, um, one of the Sidemen, uh, was it, uh, it might have been JJ's documentary yes. or was the, it the one that the Sidemen show documentary. The one that, like yeah, that. Calix and like Rubber Duck and those guys. Yeah, it might have been that one. Um, and yeah, this is when I wasn't really making much content at the time. And I spoke to you, and you were like, "Oh, I love the Hesky Time stuff." And that, that's one of the first times I spoke to someone about that stuff that wasn't in that circle. Yeah, yet, and so. all the football rap battles. <laughs> yeah. all fucking <laughs> Ronaldo versus Messi. Yeah, 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 I could, I could rehearse that right now. If I, I'm not going to. <laughs> well, that's what Tommy was like. Tommy was like, um, he can do all the, di- the Simon diss tracks off, off by heart. Yeah, and he did. And he did. <laughs> He did. <laughs> he just sure he did. Yeah. He was vlogging it. And, yeah. <laughs> I love that man. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like when I met Alfie, I was like, I was like, oh man, I grew up watching like everybody's videos, yeah. and I was like, and I never. Uh, there's, there's always like this myth. I never made a video on Alfie days. Mm. I never actually. I never actually thought I, like Jack's a very uh, Jack's videos on Alfie are hilarious. And yeah, I never. Yeah. Uh, and but you know, but I. I just never. I also was like, that's Jack's thing, and I was also like, I just couldn't do anything funny about it, so I just never did it. Like that one pound video came out, and I was like, I just don't. I'm just not funny enough to make anything out of that. So when I met Alfie, I think he thought that just because I knew Jack or whatever that I like wanted to like gut him or something. Yeah. Whereas I was like, I remember we did that podcast and we sat there and we talked about the commentary stuff, and I'm there going. And I really fucked it because he clearly thought I was like an enemy. And I'm there going, yeah, well, I don't really like many of the commentary channels, actually. So I just made no friends. <laughs> <laughs> Either side of the I'm coin. Like, because I, cause I, I'm, I'm sat there in the middle where I go, you know, you know, and a lot, it's, it would be easy to say, oh, a lot of people just do it for money. But a lot of people really don't. I think I know, everybody I know is a commentary channel, 100% fully believed everything they were saying. Mm. But also... There are, it's one of those things where if you meet somebody or whatever, you will instantly go, oh man, I was just very misinformed. Yeah. But That's the, the thing, the, I haven't met a person that I don't like, I don't think. Yeah, I know. But then... The, you then want to in commentary as well, that's the problem. Because it's the video, right? You're looking. It yeah. gets to that point where everybody you meet or whatever... If I met somebody, I always have a rule that if I met them, I would like never do a video on them. I think the only person I did was... James Charles, and that was just me defending him. Yeah. But I, because I, I just was like, if as soon as I meet somebody, I was like, it just, you know, it's out of respect. You just shouldn't do a video on somebody after that point. But it's like the audience, that it's the audience that sometimes they can take satire too far. Like they, they get the pitchforks and they're like, oh, I hate this person now. And it's like, well, it's not necessarily that simple. You know, you're speaking about one incident that they've done potentially, or you're speaking about, you know, just making jokes on this certain thing. And then the audience just think, right, this, this, Time to cancel this person. <laughs> it's it's not also the case. like people who bring stuff up from like four years ago. It's like it's just I just don't think like and I I'm guilty of doing that and I know I did that in my old videos to fill time and it's like and now I look at it and I go just no need like you know people change so quickly yeah but it's also like I look at it and I go you know I was 17 and young and just didn't really have a fucking clue what was going on no, and it, yeah if the videos, and doing well, the videos were f- like people like. What, like, Le- I remember when I was like 16, I thought Leafy and Pyrocynical, I thought their videos were like the funniest things mm-hmm. on the planet. I yeah. was like, this is great. And even Drama Alert, I was like, Drama Alert's hilarious. Yeah. I was yeah. like, he's, even still, I'll put a Drama Alert on and go, that was funny. Yeah. But also, I was like, but also probably very mean. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I mean, it's, just, it's just so hard to take yourself out of it because, as, as I said before, it's like the video does well. And as, as YouTubers, what if a video does well, you do it again. And it's, it's hard to step away and be like, is this is right. It's but also the algorithm rewards it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, the algorithm but, loves it. But now, <laughs> but now as well, YouTube, uh, you can't do commentary anymore. Okay. Especially like that. It like, and I'm glad that they because. I think, I, I don't know if I'm a big enough person to admit that I would have walked away if it wasn't for the fact that it became obvious that they didn't want to push it anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it was one of those things where it was kind of like, okay, if I'm clever and I can see this downwards trend, I was like, yeah. it's quite obvious that I should try and do something else. And also, you know, now I'm just so much happier because it is a depressing space to be in. Even when I thought I was being really nice all the time and funny, 
it was still like every day you're like well so like it's literally it was just like reading accusations accusations of just every horrible thing you can ever read every day for your job and yeah. that's not fun yeah well i, th- I think um you get to that point i think i think jack mate is like maybe a point like that as well now because obviously i think he well i don't mind who he doesn't mind me saying but i feel like he obviously in the past did really well on commentary style videos you know making fun of people um, obviously he tried to pack a lot more like, humor into it well i always wanted to be jack mate <laughs> yeah yeah but, but then i think now he's he's definitely becoming one of the you know influencers if that makes sense like he's becoming one of the that people that the he used to make videos of when we started happy hour it was the big thing yeah. we were like yeah we actually probably don't find it it was at a point where it stopped being funny because mm. when it was funny it was great but when it got to that point where it was like no it, it just isn't it's just not worth it and it's also not worth that thing where every time you meet somebody you're going oh they're gonna chin me because <laughs> that's not a great time <laughs> yeah yeah you know yeah. and there's so many people i met now like logan paul's the prime example yeah you're gonna chin me simon yeah, yeah go on yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i don't know every i think i met logan paul and he's probably said some of the nicest things he's ever said to me ever mm. he gave me loads of advice because I was mega cancelled at the time. Okay. And he literally went, you think you you got it bad? He's like, hi. <laughs> it's me, yeah. Logan Paul. And I went, yeah. And he went, he went, just just keep on doing your thing. And I was like, are you sure, Logan? I've made like five videos on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. he, was, he was really nice. And yeah. now I look at that and, I, and every time I've met him since, he's been sound. So I don't see it as like a one-off thing. And, it, and I go, okay, well, yeah, why, why have that one video up there to represent somebody? Because I'm never going to go back and go, well, it was in a million view video where it was actually really nice to me. Yeah. So. Well, it's, it's what what we show people is their perception of us. So you know, a lot of the times, even if you go some, go through something awful, obviously like Logan did, like probably you know self inflicted for sure. I'm not saying it was like uh, unwarranted, but you know, if you want to change perception, you have to, you have to change yourself and also change what you're doing in the content. And he's probably a prime example of that, right? Of like. He, you know, he, obviously the, the Japan thing was like the biggest thing ever, really. In, in influencers, it was probably the biggest thing that ever happened. And that was something that was like, that wasn't like, oh, someone started merch for 50 quid or putting <laughs> out advent calendar. That was something that was, you know, yeah. let's, let's talk mean, about this. But then YouTube he, he, get he came back from that and actually showed that he can be a better person and portray that better person. And that's also, a, I think, the biggest showcase where I go, yeah, uh, you need to separate yourself from YouTube because, like, I know, are you, I don't, I think only, when I saw that video, as somebody who was a full-time YouTuber at the time, I was like, I could see that if I went proper, 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 proper mentally off the rails, mm. how I could end up just being like, everything is a video. That's what it was like. He was trying to film everything, wasn't he? It was just, you know, it's, it, it's not actually the right thing, but you know, you just you just film, 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 film. The next minute, you've gone too far. And, and that's what I was trying to say about the, um, uh, what is it, Zoella as well. You know, you, you, do, you do this opportunity, you do that opportunity. It's very hard to stop and, and look at this thing and be like, all oh, right, this is where it's going. You become Yourself, a content you need machine, that. Yeah. not yeah. a person. You're just like something to be filmed. And yeah. that's like, that's not good. Yeah. I've There's parts where I put stuff out on the internet that's really personal. I look back on it and go on, what the fuck came over me to think that that was worth sharing? I should have kept that to myself. That yeah, was yeah. not a good idea. And like, because you know, you start, you get to that point where, because you, your whole life is seems to be online. You start living online, and that's really dangerous. Like, I mean, not to bring him up again, but Tommy, he was like, I spend three hours on my computer a day, and I was like, How are you so much better at this than me? <laughs> you know, seventeen. I was like, I used to live. I used to be on like I used to be on for like seventeen hours yeah, just on yeah, Twitter. Yeah. Non stop. <laughs> still still probably an hour to be honest. I wasn't doing other things, I've been sat on my computer. Um but I, yeah, I, I don't know. Makes you ill. Yeah, it does, it does. Well, um <laughs> move things on. <laughs> What? <laughs> that was a fun, fun ending. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, we, we are still a podcast. Really do we want sad. to do some what's good questions? Oh, well, yes. I'll ask a question first. Oh, sorry, go on. Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Okay. This is probably the most normal I've seen your hair in a while. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you, well, you, well <laughs> I mean, you're, no, you're one of the only people I know that might have dyed their hair different colors more than me. More than you, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this Streamers is famous life, mate. This is quite, <laughs> quite normal right now. Yeah, what I did you? it for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> because... <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, sidemen viewers uh, love football and the pints, <laughs> and I also love football. All and the of pint. them, yeah. And All I and I love football and the pints, sidemen viewers as well. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I I dress and look like most of the time like somebody who you know it doesn't do that, <laughs> and I and I understand that it may be grossly offensive to some people. Nah, yeah. But it was also like I dyed my hair like three different colours for a charity, and then everybody was like, "You look shit," and I was like, "Yeah, but you know." 
But the the people I helped. <laughs> yeah, charity. Uh, yeah, <laughs> been there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did like, it for the charity match. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had yeah. a big quid logo on the side of my yeah, head. Just to, yeah, just to remind you guys, yeah, I'm a really good person. I, yeah. I don't have loads you of money. You should have dyed it blue. No, because that's, uh, that's the colour. You dye it blue oh, and then right. something, you get something terrible happens Sorry, to a lot yeah. of people. Blue and green. I just realised. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't. Yeah. If you're a YouTube, <laughs> yeah, if you're a YouTube, you dye it blue, oh, it goes horrifically from that point onwards. Like, just don't do that ever. Okay. Bad idea. Noted. Yeah. I just, that's one thing. I, any tips for any upcoming YouTubers, don't go blue. Yeah. Uh, it's G- yeah. G- G's there like... Don't go green either. <laughs> yeah. Well, even so, you know, don't go bowling either. <laughs> <laughs> do not go bowling, guys. Or just wear a mask. Yeah, or wear a mask. <laughs> yeah, true. No, that was the craziest thing ever, though. Anyway, but yeah, no, I dyed it back because I was like, I want to look normal. If I <laughs> have achieved that, nah, you, <laughs> John you just gave me like an eye behind the camera. Well, 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 John, what eyes did you do? Can you do it to me? So I look normal. He just shrugged his shoulders as if I don't. Look, is it implying that I don't look normal? Now nah, you, you should you should look however you want to look. Well, the last time the Sidemen viewers saw you, <laughs> uh, Toby shaved your head. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. JJ shaved an English flag into my head. When that came through. Well, speak about that. How, how did it come about? Did someone message you saying hi? Would you like to be in a cyber video? Uh, Ethan, or did they did they say the tweet wasn't it? Yeah, and Ethan then put it in the football group chat that we have and was like, anybody daft enough to do this? And the e boys was quite clearly coming to an end, and <laughs> I hadn't been on a shoot day in like six months. <laughs> and generally, I just, just wanted friends. I just it's not bad. Her. I just wanted the day out. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm gonna do it because I was like, it should be nice to see everyone. Yeah, nice. So it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. I tied up and everybody was there. You know, there was what, Nep and Tom and Rory and JCC and Charlie. Yeah. And we were just kind of like, you know, like, oh, it's nice to see everybody. And also now we're going to have all of our hair shaved. <laughs> there you go. Oh, mate. Yeah. But that, that's, that's the thing, you know, it's like, on, on the one hand, it's like, oh, <laughs> side men. I've got, you know, I'm going to be on a side men video. This is great. It's great to see everyone. Great to be in a big production as well. And then you're like, wait, hold on. Is this a good idea? Like, to be fair, I did. I, yeah, I was like, no, I'm not doing this. Generally, I didn't realise, um, I always thought that I was one of those YouTubers who, you know, stood on their own two feet and was relatively funny. After I shaved my hair, I realised, no, I, I heavily rely on my looks to uh, <laughs> pull views, uh, which I didn't realise until that point, um, because I didn't think that uh, I had anything going for me. But after I shaved my head, I realised, no, well, now I definitely have nothing. <laughs> Gone to, to a point that you can't come back on, but... No, I, I, I didn't think it, the haircuts would be that bad, you know. Like, honestly, I was like, right, it's, 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 I, I thought that, you know, it wasn't that type of video. Oh, I knew, I knew I, it was that video. I, I thought kind it might of, have been, I, like... I kind of wanted to try cutting hair, but then Josh went first, I think it was. I think he went first. Yeah. But he... Set, uh, set the tone? He was actually doing it normally and oh. we were all like bro you're taking so right, like okay, he yeah. took like 20 minutes and he did like three or four cuts yeah and then he was cutting con's hair mm. but they shaved the headphones into his head yeah oh there you are <laughs> <laughs> yeah no uh, that's when i realized my hairline's gone <laughs> uh when i actually shaved my head but i knew i knew no i was under no illusion that i was not getting my hair shaved. I wasn't sure because it's like you know, Simon Bake Off or, or, or cooking videos. You put effort in. Some oh, I was try. fully, I was fully ready to try. <laughs> yeah. Until I was last, and I was like, it's boring. Yeah, because you can't end the video with normal. And even so, my the haircut I ended up, I did JCC's hair. Yeah. And even still, it looked normal. I guess as well. Like, I, not, I just not wanted bad. to be a good video, and I knew, and I knew yeah, for yeah, it yeah, to yeah. be a good video, you have to, you Mess have to do it. And I also know because like weirdly my hair is such a big part of my brand mm, 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 mm. that i was like it's the ultimate way to for it to go if it yeah. had to go and I, was when, like, I think when you got the clippers in your hand as well it's so hard not to you don't get go. you don't get many chances <laughs> to yeah to yeah. do that no I, that's why i ended up shaving it because i was yeah, like yeah. originally i could have easily ca- i did make like four videos where i just filmed it in a way where the curtains just hid the fact that there was nothing in my <laughs> and there was nothing going on behind but i was like nah i just want to Fully brave it, and that was a that was a bad yeah. that was a dark time for the I'm Alex YouTube channel. Syndicates was uh, oh interesting. God. Tom's yeah. yeah. I think he just had the line the down the middle. Well, the worst part was left it. Well, no, JJ literally. We went. Oh, who should cut Tom's? Yeah, we'll fake it. JJ got it. Oh, Tom, JJ's cutting you. Yeah. Oh. We just spun a wheel and it landed on JJ. Oh. Everyone else's was random. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, he. Yeah, I got Toby, and every I because I remember Rory. I mean, Rory turned up and he didn't even know who anybody in the Sidemen was. Right, so right, he yeah. was there going, 
He's going, oh, so who are these fellows? And I was like, are you taking the mic? <laughs> right. I was like, what's going on? He's like, well, I know Ethan and Harry from football. Yeah. He's like, well, uh, I don't, and, and, I, and uh, that KSI fellow, everybody talks about him a lot. I was like, yeah, they, they do a bit, don't they? Yeah. And then he was like, who do I want? I was like, you probably want Toby. And then I ended up with Toby. And no, you didn't want Toby <laughs> at all. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's because the fact that you've just said like, oh, you want Toby. It was so obvious for him to actually do like a nice haircut. Yes. That he had to do something yeah. else. Yeah, no, he did what I, but I didn't expect it to go that way. Like I, I didn't finish the video. I was like, oh, I can't believe they've yeah. done this. It was like, yeah, yeah. I, I knew what was going to happen. I think as well, like I think hairdressing or barbering, whatever you call it, is it, it seems easier than it looks, you know? Well, it looks so easy. It, it does look easy. So you're like, you know what? I imagine most people in that video probably started off thinking, you know, I might give it a go. And then, you know, you, you do one thing wrong and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, I might as well just flip the, you know, just throw the book at I it I did now. it the other day. I tried, I, like, my, I couldn't be able to go get a haircut because I, but, like, there's just little bits of hair growing yeah. on the back of my head. So I tried to take Take-myself. a, tried to take a shaver to it. No, I shaved a square into the back of my head. Mate, yeah, 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 bro. I'm not, I'm not the best at doing my beard either. You know? I'm getting better, but, you know, I'm like, oh, let's try something new today and then it's gone. Yeah, it's, it's a the nightmare. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, no, we've got to go bold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. What's the question? What? <laughs> How do you dead things like that? Well, because I'm just trying to, I'm trying to, you know, put a natural point in the podcast where we move on. I know when people, a natural point in the podcast. I love that so much. The natural much. point is, okay, I'm going to do this for um, my no. one. Well, I'm going I'm to stop and pause for 10 seconds. Yeah, well then. Wait. All right, we move on to the next chapter. Yeah. You, you should do it like a monologue. Yeah, like a, like it's a story. Yeah, like a, yeah. <laughs> a one man play. Well, we, 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 we used to have like um, a screen, my laptop screen, when it had all the, sub, the the topics on, but we don't do that anymore. So before we'd be able to segue really easily because we could see what's coming up, and then both of us are like, right, let's put a segue it's in. It's a nightmare. Though. But now you, you have, have to do have it, like it. intuition. You based. need to have it in front of you because yeah. I've really struggled as well, where mm. it's like I just can't. Well, the thing is, how do we do it here? Because most podcasts, you know, Logan Paul... You have a big the... screen right there. No, no, no. Yeah, there is a massive TV. But also, you don't, want it, you don't want the guest to know what's on the list sometimes. It's true. Do you know so Logan will sit there with his laptop on there. Joe Rogan's got a laptop. And it's very natural then, because, you know, it's not weird to be on your laptop while you're on a desk. But if I was sat here with my laptop, it would look very I'll weird. I'll be using a laptop on my one, guys. <laughs> good, it yeah, good. It's worth so, doing. Um, shall we do some What's Good questions? You really want to do What's Good, don't you? I, I think it's a good quiz, and I've got the little light button here. Yeah, I've been pressing the whole podcast and m- messing with John's. <laughs> is that why I went off yeah, earlier? I just keep doing it, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I, did my, I did my hand like this. <laughs> nah, bro. It's tro- He's Let, literally been, they, they've been talking the whole time off camera, going like, why is the light Epic working? prank. I made the production team feel like we had ruined the set that we spent all the money on. Yeah, yeah, why did you turn it off prank. earlier then? Just funny. You left it off for like five minutes. Yeah, just funny. That's why, you know, when you're like, oh, why are you staring at him? That's it's because I was trying to do it without looking suspicious. Yeah, but and that was just really just off-putting. <laughs> yeah. You were literally there. I was talking. You were... Yeah, no, you like zoned out. <laughs> I, I thought sh- I'd said something because I do on these podcasts. <laughs> I say I got myself in trouble. I thought I'd said something terrible. I was trying to do it without looking like I was doing it. So I was trying and also, walk. I've been watching it the whole time go on and off because I can't not see it turn on and off out the corner of my yeah, eye. Yeah, so right. I'm constantly watching it. The whole podcast, I'm just being in like this <laughs> the whole time. The thing is, I feel like these what's good options... I feel like they're starting to stink. Well, maybe we have to start picking them then. But there's a whole lot. The whole, there's a whole there list is. of like back. Oh, what's maybe good, guys? Could... Not the questions. Whoa. Well, these are from Yao Vaz. Thanks, Yao Vaz. The first one is hoodies without pockets. No, dead. Let off. Hate them. No, can't do it. Yeah, that's a nightmare. But you need the pocket. You need that it's bit. Not, there's no hood. There's no hood. I like. I I walk with my hands in there like a like a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. Like a moody oh, teenager. Hoodie pockets. Are s- why does that so weird? Hoodie pockets are so great because I feel like when you've got anxiety, it's the perfect place to like, you know, fiddle with your hands. Yeah, but I also I lose everything in there because I oh. will, I like, I'll put my keys in there and then, and like, then forget they're in there. I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll be there bit. going, where they're going, oh, where, my, where my keys gone? And I go, oh, no, hoodie pocket. Yeah, but that after, right? I had about six days in a row where my face mask, I put, this is just a hoodie. This isn't a, a jumper, but this doesn't have a pocket. So, fresh skin, find out. There's a t-shirt. That. No, it's not. This is a t-shirt. It has a hoodie on it. Yeah, but this is a t-shirt. Like, that's a sh- it's a shirt. This is not a jumper. It's still a hoodie because it's got a hood on it. Yeah. What 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 is it? What about hoodie, hoodie Allen? He doesn't ha- he doesn't have them. He doesn't have pockets. He's got a hood on his dick. No pockets. No no. I'm just saying. How do you even know that? No, but I bet he has because that's why his name is Hoodie Allen. Rappers rappers. You, you just... think he's called Hoodie Allen because he has? Yeah. No, but he's hoodie. not circumcised. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you said Hoodie Allen doesn't wear hoodies. No no no. I'm saying Hoodie Allen doesn't have pockets. And he's a hoodie. Ah, okay. So do you hate him? No, I love him. 
Great you, musician. No, he's love great. And he's great. a lovely guy. Yeah, yeah. Love hoodies without pockets. No, I hate them. But he doesn't have pockets. Shut up. <laughs> Light goes back on. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Google's color scheme. Yeah. It's all right. I like it. It's what? a rainbow, isn't it? What's wrong with... It's right down my straight. <laughs> yeah. Really. Is it a rainbow? Google by internet. Well, it's, it's, isn't it? It's multiple colours. I know it's multiple colours, but I didn't think it's... Well, I'm not sure if it's the rainbow in all. It's, all like a rainbow it's blue, red, yellow, blue, green, red. Well, I mean, it's Google's anti-LGBTQ. You've heard it at first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is a rainbow. Homophobic Google. That's not a rainbow. Well, uh, it's, it's got weird. blue twice. On the TV, by the way, they have gone on to Google and Googled Google. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Is it Bilu? No, it's Bilu and Flight. They both do it. Bilu, he, he literally he yeah, goes on his Google. computer, he types in Google, goes on Google, Googles. No, it's worse. Yeah, yeah, so he, so he Googles Google. No, you, you know the top URL bar? Yeah. You, if you wanted to, you could just search. That is a search bar. He'll type Google into that. Then he goes to the Google part, types Google into, into that, the Google and then search clicks bar, yeah. Google. <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> then, and then he searches. <laughs> what a nightmare. <laughs> Okay. Uh, just a full autopilot. Yeah. Number three, hand games, like rock, paper, scissors, so the pointing game. Classic. Yeah, I mean, that's how we used to decide everything in the e-boys, rock, paper, scissors. Is it? The yeah. four of you. Yeah, it was a nightmare. <laughs> so everyone, every time I've ever said this, I've, people always go like, it doesn't work with more than two of you. I'm like, it does. It's the exact same. Yeah, it is. It's yeah, just, you can, but just, then like, get but out. also people yeah. start cheating. How? They delay it a uh, bit. And then, yeah. It's it hard to keep it, track of it the more the people there are. Go on. One, yeah. two, three, show. Okay. Could you do one, two, three, show? Yeah, we could do that. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, God, we one, all did. One, two, three. Oh, you won. Oh, <laughs> random wins. But are you the odd one out, so you lose? No. Yeah, no, because <laughs> we're in solidarity. We're a team. Yeah. Are you telling me one piece so of So you put your paper yeah. over his rock, and then I go, bang, yeah. like that, on top of you. Yeah. Well, I want to be. Suddenly you've <laughs> lost. Well, okay, I've lost then. <laughs> I, d I don't care. Do, 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 do you want to do the final? <laughs> all right. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. Yes! Oh, no, no, no. Actually, actually, Alex has won. No. Because that, that, he's, he's folded his paper eight times and you can't cut through yeah, that anymore. Yeah, yeah. You can. You can't fold it more. Shut you up. can cut through paper if it's folded eight times. No, but you've, you've, got, you've got plastic scissors. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there left-handed. Alex won. Sorry, yeah, I won. I actually hate rock, paper, scissors now, though, because of JJ. Wow. Every single time you play, he goes, rock, paper, scissors, Spider-Man. And then he just goes, we won. <laughs> that's it. That's how he and it never, it never, ever, ever goes further. Does he find that. it really funny? No, he, it's it's actually just part of it now. And he walks off. He instantly just goes like, Spider-Man. And he just turns. Yeah. It's just 180s. And he's yeah, out it'll be like, okay, who gets kickoff? Rob Hibbs is a Spider-Man. Walks off. Yeah, but he, he's KSI, so he can. He is. Yeah, yeah he yeah, gets yeah. just a side. Oh, shit, sorry. Uh, You're the one who's turning it off. A mistake. Number four, welcome mats. Well, like this. This is not a welcome mat. This is a get away from this podcast, man. <laughs> <laughs> this was made by JME. Was it actually? Yeah. Handmade. Handmade. Gonna make me one? Probably. <laughs> he basically, <laughs> Sorry, during what? lockdown, well, not lockdown, during, between lockdowns, he came on yeah. the podcast and he was like, oh, you, you guys need like a, you need like a rug in here or something like that. I'm gonna make you a rug. And then that night, streamed himself making a rug. And then the next day, he <laughs> skated to the flat <laughs> to give it back to Simon. Yeah. Wow, that's a late. I love that. What a guy. I feel like everyone likes it a lot more as soon as they find out Jamie made it. Yeah, I might make yeah. it, I might put it, <laughs> it way thing. cooler. Are you saying it's shit? No, I love it. But I'm saying everyone goes like, yeah, it's cool, Matt. And then you go, yeah, Jamie made it. And they go, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, like Kanye West makes shoes. It's like, if they were just normal shoes, you might not like them. But then Kanye, Kanye West true. them. True. Although he doesn't actually make Yeezys. He's not sat there. I like to believe, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin it. He's sat there himself. I don't like, go, I can't believe these Oh my God, a new order? <laughs> yeah, I can't believe he sewed these together. All right, next one, I'm ready. Well, yeah, welcome back. So yeah, I've got welcome. one. Oh, sorry. I Lie, yeah. on. Do you actually have one? I think we do, but I think it was left by the previous person. What does it say? Welcome. It just... <laughs> oh, it actually says welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? I you seem like one that has... I reckon your family has one. What was that? Is that just yeah, a judgment of character? See, they do. It doesn't say anything like that. I mean, it says like, hi there, no, come it, on in. No, it says nothing. It just says, home, sweet it, says home. it says, it's just fairy. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you, if, you put, like, if you put your hand over it, it just goes. Uh, uh, sorry, I thought you put wingdings on it. Or <laughs> no, no. We've got one, but it's not a welcome mat. It goes onto the balcony. So like, it's, it's, it's an exit, exit mat. <laughs> Although when you're coming uh, back in. Don't jump, yeah. Matt. <laughs> Preferably. <laughs> or D. <do>. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number five, virtual keyboards. Don't get it. Oh, like an iPad. Oh. 
or what? iPhone. Oh yeah, like an iPhone. Uh, I don't know. I I misspell everything, so I. Yeah, but autocorrect gets you back on track. No, my my autocorrect makes it worse oh, right. because it's learned all my misspellings. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's just even like even when I spell something right, it corrects to the wrong one. You remember when you did that to, to JJ? So oh, JJ, it's the best prank they, ever. him and Josh took JJ's phone. Yeah, and JJ probably doesn't know this yet. Like he knows no. it, but he doesn't know who did it. Uh, they basically changed his haha to like fuck me daddy or something like that yeah yeah and then it, it, it was really detailed and it was really long as well <laughs> like our background yeah so yeah, then he yeah. literally just puts he puts a message and then puts yeah, that message it, and then, dang, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. and sends it and we all go like wait what 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 and he's like what the hell i just put and he tried to type ha ha again type the same message <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then, then, but doesn't he auto quit hit the auto quit button so it just sends again yeah, yeah. yeah. if you don't when you type ha ha then hit the on the in quotation marks it won't change <laughs> yeah. yeah and he was like no 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 wait wait I put and put it again and we were like yeah JJ you did put that yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was the best it was the best prank ever because we, we it was a KSI show so he was out somewhere else and me and Josh like we knew his passwords we just got into his phone <laughs> so JJ you should probably change your password <laughs> but I actually don't um, and we we, did, and we we were like Josh put something at first like a certain thing but we were like let's change it to ha ha because obviously that's something that you would put and then send but we weren't sure how many ha ha JJ usually puts like for me personally I'm like a triple ha I go ha 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 yeah same you know I like that one, but we weren't sure whether JJ would go just haha. So we settled on haha in the end. You, you, you said you're a triple and you did four. Sorry, ha ha ha. Yeah, there yeah. That's my that's my go-to. But you know, isn't it worse when your phone auto corrects to a really long one you did one day? Yeah. <laughs> and then someone just puts yeah. something like, "Oh, I tripped over today," and you're like, "Ha ha." Oh, when you put <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lamau and it changes to like Lamau. LMAO and then like 16 O's. Or you or lol right? Because lol lol with one O is like <laughs> being like actually not funny. Uh, kind of pissed off. Like, uh, yeah. why the fuck did you say that to me? Lol. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I always you got to have a bunch of O's in there. Yeah. Because I passively aggress- progressively text people all the time, so oh, I've got to fix it. No, yeah, no, no, you no. don't. Just no. be you. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah just go it. fuck off. Yeah. We, it, that's it's, honestly it's probably the best prank this this, this day. <laughs> it's goated. The fact that he hasn't fixed if he ha- if he still hasn't fixed it, then that's because he wants it to be there. He's fixed it. He doesn't know who did it. <laughs> yeah. He, he was like, "Who did this?" And no one ever replied. So I never find the well up until his podcast. Anyway, he won't watch. This. He won't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll never know. <laughs> uh, number six, flexible people. What about them? What? I'm not. Do you like them? Well, I'm not. If someone walked up to you and then just did the bridge thing where they bend over backwards, what if they, and they can, <laughs> I'd be terrified. They just walk up and so they go, "Hey," <laughs> and do that. Would I'd you be, be like, "I don't trust your character." Yeah, but yeah, 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 yes, but that, that's different to being flexible. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's flexible. No, 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 no. Hold on. Fair play to them for being flexible. But if they were so happy with their flexible, they would do it straight away. I'd be like, that's a bit weird. Go that's, to the Olympics, that's their character. That's man. not their, no, that's not the fact that they're flexible. Are you flexible? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Put your leg over your head. No. But I'm, for my size, I'm surprisingly flexible. Laura Put your leg me, over Laura, your head. Laura, no, I'm not going to do that because I can't. And I look stupid on the podcast, but I can do it. No, you can't. Ask Laura. Can't just say that. Yeah, there's, then... a, there's no way that you can put your leg okay, I can't over put it, your I head. I can't put it over my head. But How I'm close so, can you get? I, I don't, I'm not going to do it on the podcast. I'll do it if you do it. I can't do it. Try. I can't either. I don't want to do this on the podcast. It's very revealing. I don't want to make you look like an idiot, whereas him, I'm glad to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't either, by the way. I just can't. That's like, that's actually quite close. I'm quite flexible. I don't want to go too far, but ask Laura. She'll I tell mean, you I'm surprisingly that. flexible. That was quite close. He lifted his leg up to his... To here? I mean, yeah. I'm not going to do it, but I could do that. Okay, but you okay. can't say that. All right, okay, fair enough. Got him. Got him, got him. <laughs> what, what, yeah, that's that was, pretty that good. That was a lot better than yours. Yeah, 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 but I can go further. Do it then. Oh. No, do it then. <laughs> no, light off. That really hurt light, I hate flexible. Light off. <laughs> I've not so stretched. You, you just, I can't. Uh, my knees are gone now, you know. Same. I'm old. Same. Ever since I hit 29, I'm old. Same. I can't do it. Uh, you can't run anymore. Look at that. There's a sure SM7B in the way. Oh, yeah, oh, that yeah. Hurt. It hurt me that hurt. as well. But you can do it, can't you? No, that's about as far as I can go. I used to be able to. Yeah. I used to be one. You used to like to have to go to do the splits. No, I'm not bad oh, for, for like someone that doesn't stretch ever, Mm-mm-mm. but I can't do them. I want to learn. I didn't oh. think I was going to do this today. I can limbo quite oh, well. The stretch. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm quite good at limbo. Yeah, I, I learned that in the video. Yeah. It's called limbo. I had this problem generally. Uh, every time I I lean down or whatever, you can hear my knees crack. Oh. Uh, That's, yeah. Yeah, I've got, I've got bad knee problems. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. It's really bad. I got a knee injury in football once and then never ever went to get it fixed. And now like if, I, if I sit down my left knee, it makes like a crunch. It's really really loud to the point where people go what the fuck and i go yeah i'm broken <laughs> but See, if i did that with my left leg 
Sometimes my knee pops out. Oh, it does. And then, it does. I, have to, and then I have to do this oh. and pop it back in. He, he was, was there like, one time. Oh, yeah, I didn't like it. Yeah. No one's ever there, though. I was there. It and happens a lot. It. Like, it happened once with Dida. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, it popped in and he was like, oh, and ran inside. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's bad. All right, number six. No, seven. Bobblehead figurines. Love them. Yeah, I sold one hey, of those. Yeah. What? Love them. Love them. <laughs> Do a commentary video on him. <laughs> Everybody's had a U2, haven't they, at this point? Yeah. Yeah, haven't but they? U2s weren't bobbleheads. Uh, like bobbleheads yeah, are the I ones suppose, that actually have to go. Yeah, I mean, I've got one of those like, Iron Man ones that somebody gave to me at like, a meet and greet. Like, I still cats. Um, shout out to them. I love my fans. Shout out. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, but they're quite... I just, I just keep on seeing people cutting them open on TikTok. Have you seen uh, that? What's inside? Yeah. Oh, nothing. It's yeah, a toy. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it lets you save money. That went so far, didn't it? I remember, like, it was very interesting to see what was inside of a golf ball because I was quite interested. And then it just became a part, like, what's inside of a sponge? More sponge. Did yeah. You, did you ever see, uh, I think Jay did it, as in TGF Jay. Mm. He cut the, you know, some shoes have, like, the bubbles. Oh, no, bottom. it was Ramel. I think it was Ramel. Was it was Ramel's one. Yeah, yeah. But on his so it was channel, just the bubble ones. I think. And he basically just stabbed them and was like, what happens if you stab that? Yeah, that, that video banged. Nothing happens, really. Just... And that banged. No, oh, yeah. mate. But we've always wondered that. I want to know. We've always wondered that. I've always wondered, like, oh, those shoes, like, if you did it, would they suddenly go, like, whoosh? Yeah, what is it? Yeah, what Nothing is it? Nothing, really. Mm. It's, just, it's just plastic. Oh, <laughs> well, that's so disappointing. But you should watch the video. <laughs> I will watch it. You probably will, actually, yeah. Even though now I know what is inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number eight, QR codes. Love them. Amazing. Yeah, I've put them they're on incredible. my. They're on my merch now. They are. I thought that'd be cool because you know it's an internet sensation. But it's brand is the internet. Was so it now, before or after hashtags kit? Oh, uh, to be honest, I didn't know they had it on there, so I'm going to say after. No, you if you didn't know they had it on there, you should say before. Because you're not copying. Yeah, them. but but, you didn't but know it's not copying. out yet. Oh. So <laughs> 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 to be fair, I think, I think there was somebody else has done it as well. I might be wrong in saying this, but I think uh, hashtag did it in place of their sponsor until they get the sponsor or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but it's oh. really it's a really cool thing. And I think it for I think for internet brands, you know, but also like I'm putting it on there as a gimmick. I don't fucking use QR codes. I only use it for the oh, I, do. I need to order food and you scan it. QR and they code never work. Ace, Ace card. Yeah. But they never work though. No they do. Now when they people people put them on on your merch, how big is it going to be roughly? It's going to be like like probably that big and just on a label. See, that's fine. There. Some people like there's certain uh, like COVID tests, for example, they're this big. Yeah. The phone can't focus on something that small. Yeah. So true. I'm sat there just doing this yeah, for about an on, hour. On my car, there's a there's a QR code and you can't scan it. No, it's just but it's literally pointless. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go, it didn't that's so work. odd. But the, I, I was stupid for a long time because I didn't know how to scan them. I didn't know it was just in the photo app on the iPhone. Yeah, neither did I. So I would download apps. You're not alone there. I downloaded apps to. Yeah, I did that too. <laughs> and then, then someone was like, "Wait, you know, you just go on the app store and type in QR, and you just download like yeah. random apps." And someone, and then one day I'm like taking a f- f- photo of someone, and it pops up, and I'm like, "Yeah, what the fuck's going what's on? What's going on here?" You know. <laughs> but you don't know, like the idiot. He's only just clocked it. Yeah, I had the whole same thing happen to me where I was at a bus stop, and I was like taking a picture of somebody, and I was like, "Oh wow." Because <laughs> yeah. you know, they just put them everywhere now, QR codes. But yeah. like the worst ones as well is like, why do people, random people, go around and put their Snapchat QR code? Oh yeah, that's too. Oh cool. yeah, Blank post. That- I don't want to. <laughs> Does meet- that know what's going to be on your merch? Does it not lead to your Snapchat? No, it will lead. No, it will lead, to, <laughs> it will lead back to the clothing store. <laughs> oh, buy another one. <laughs> and generally, that's no. actually where it goes, just yeah. to keep them in a never-ending loop. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I always think, like I wouldn't want to meet somebody who went around and put a Snapchat snap code on a on a lamppost anyway like like i don't say i go what a cool guy yeah yeah new, yeah. new mates yeah, the, you know who probably does that uh tiki toki <laughs> yeah you know now i've TikTok now, that now i've around it and yes yes yeah, no, drops yeah, game. yeah no yeah <laughs> they, no, they don't want to make friends do they they want to sell drugs i've just realized that <laughs> yeah, no, yeah the, i the, saw that one oh they want friends <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. no actually they want to sell yeah, what, what did i see the other day? i saw like a mixtape it's like down on my mixtape and it's like kush it's like song one, Kush. This is song two, like, you know, I don't know. Feature, I, I, I don't that. know any more, like, you know, weed memes or weed, you know. 420 Kush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hoodie album. I'm like, oh, I might download this. Because I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's not an album at all. It's <laughs> <laughs> not. Yeah, yeah. All right, number nine, uh, acronyms. Yeah, why not? That's the ones that are like, what, LOL? It stands for stuff, BLT. right? Yeah. Bacon, yeah. lettuce, and tomato. Makes life easier. Yeah. 
But when you say them out loud, you become like a bit. Do you remember that era where everybody would go, lol? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, I, as if that's literally KSI's video in 2000. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when he did it, though, it was, it was kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. He, would go, he would go, lol. Uh, and yeah. PK would appear. Yeah, yeah. 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 What, <laughs> what I hate lol. is when you say something like, oh, does anyone know where the ATM machine is? And someone goes, haha, you just said. At the moment. There we go. I helped you out. No, 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 no. ATM machine. Yeah, yeah, but. He's saying because ATM at the moment. Like ATM is at the moment. ATM. But he's saying that you should say the whole word. As in, you know, an ATM is the what, cut. What like, is the whole? Sorry, sorry. Hold on, hold on. No, it, so I've gone for the wrong acronym. So basically, acronyms are confusing. Yeah. Is no, it no, like no, an no. automated transaction machine? Yeah. It's, something it's, like I, that. I yeah, I'm that, not yeah, saying that. like that. But yeah. no, but then people get mad at you for saying machine machine. Because oh, you said ATM machine. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh, sorry. You know, I hate when people do that. But now we've, we're in a rat kerfuffle now, aren't we, guys? I want a BLT tomato sandwich. Yes, yeah, and they're like, oh, I mean, it means the same thing. We're not, we've not, we've not done this very well at all. No, I also <laughs> just couldn't care less about acronyms. So you like, you like, you like stuff. I. <laughs> you like off? I withhold my vote. Uh, my light's gonna be on. I like, I love our acronyms. Trilogies. Oh, banging! Yeah. Really depends what it is. Yeah. What's your you favorite trilogy? Well, Star. Well, uh, you're, you're a, a big Star, Star Wars, Wars fan. Lord of the Rings is my favorite trilogy. Ooh. You're a big Star Wars fan, aren't you? A huge, but Lord of the Rings is, is uh, was originally my first love, and always probably will be. But Star Wars is, well, until the Amazon show comes out for Lord of the Rings, then Star Wars is currently first place. I was talking to Viz. Yeah. Um, Happy birthday. Who hasn't seen Pirates of the Caribbean or Lord of the Rings? Not and I was Lord of the Rings or Pirates to, of the Caribbean. I was trying to basically like. Make him watch it. The first was like, oh, which one do I watch first? The first few parts of the Caribbean is unreal. Yeah. Just so funny. And Lord of the Rings is just like, it's not really one where you're going to get like much comedy out of it. Like, it's a very serious fantasy film, but it's just, um, it's just actually really good. And you kind of now, you have, I, I have a lot more of an appreciation for it because you look at how much people fuck up films nowadays and you go, Wow, they really actually just did that all back to back in like the two thousands, and yeah. it was, and it still also looks unbelievable. Like, like the, the CGI it. for Gollum and all that. Mm. I watched them all recently, and I was like, wouldn't be able to tell they didn't Little do CGI. that today. Yeah, not well. Oh, it's like a person, and they animated oh, him over the top. Yeah, so it was an actual person. Yeah, he just walked around. Yeah, Andy Serkis. Yeah, <laughs> legend. But if you had to tell someone to watch, I had this argument, right? If you had to tell someone to watch, no, sorry, you can only watch. One of those forever. Lord of the Rings or Pirates of the Caribbean. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. I would choose Pirates of the Caribbean. But, but, hear me out. Lord of the Rings is way better. But I think mean, Pirates of the Caribbean talk watch, with other people. You can't watch Lord of the... Like, Lord of the Rings, for me, it's longer and also you have to be in a specific mood for it. Yes. Pirates of the Caribbean is easy watching. You check nah, it you on to, in the background. You have to be in a mood I've for had Pirates friends, as well. My fr- I've had two <sighs> friends fall asleep watching Lord of the Rings. I don't know. And that's when you know. And 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 were you before like guys? You must watch this. It's the best film ever. Oh, I was sat there going, and that means this, and in the books, and like there's all this lore, and there's like twelve YouTube videos I've watched about this, <laughs> and like, yeah, that's probably why they fell asleep. I, I, think yeah. I, I need to watch it again because I think I watched it back when obviously it came out, but I was very young, um, and, I, and I think I need to watch it again now. I'm a. You're having movie night. Yeah. I'll do it every year. I'll do this movie night. Huh? Please, can we do movie night? Together? I bought. All, I've got. <laughs> I I'd bought all that. the extended editions. And they like 12 hours? Uh, One's so, like six, isn't it? So, like, um, I think the longest one is Return of the King, which is four hours 20. And then, 420. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the other, And then the other two are both minutes. four hours each. And oh yeah, so that's so a 12 that's, hour. Yeah, that's a lot of film. Yeah, see, I don't want to watch that. No. I'll watch the original. I remember, right, my cousins, so my auntie and uncle and, and their children, they absolutely loved Hot Fuzz, right? So like, it's the best film ever. They were laughing Ten so much hours. Or is that, is that the reg- That's not even well, the extended cut. That's Almost. insane. Nine hours. That's, that's yeah, nine hours. That's crazy. Nine hours to watch the three films. Yes, yeah, only a flight. Sorry, carry on. No, yeah, so, right, my, my auntie and uncle and the kids, they we watched it together and they were wetting themselves. Absolutely loving it, dying, laughing, Hot Fuzz. Great film, right? Oh, I'm real. So then we were like, oh, well, if you like that, you'll love Shaun of the Dead. So we watched that with them, like a few weeks later, and they didn't, they hated it. They, what, because it was scary? Uh, they, just, they just didn't laugh once. They didn't show any signs. I sure they did. It's like, the same comedy. I'm like, it's literally the same film, which is a different, like, theme. It's just a different setting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, I, me, me, me and my dad were like, what have we done here? Like, how can you not enjoy this? I don't show yeah. them what World's End or whatever it is, the other one. Oh, the, the probably, pub, what, robot yeah, pub yeah, one. Yeah, the pub one, robot pub one. It's not as good, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely the weakest. Yeah, 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 it's still, it's still great. Well, I would say Shaun of the Dead's better than Hot Fuzz, to be honest. Same. 
But yeah. they said differently. I also remember the same reaction was Napoleon Dynamite. Have you seen that film? Yeah, it's Napoleon Dynamite. Dynamite. Film, yeah, my brother Cold and classic. his wife just straight faced. I it. actually spent like two days trying to learn the dance. <laughs> <laughs> I got like eight seconds in. You should do it on TikTok. That'll bang. I, just, I couldn't learn it. You and Ethan. It's actually really hard to learn. Is it? Yeah. Well, I mean, Ethan. <laughs> Ethan's doing TikTok now. True. TikTok dancers. Just TikTok dancers. Is he doing dances? Yeah, I girlfriend. fully write that. You got to. But he, he doesn't put does much effort in. Uh, to be fair, yeah, I, but you also don't have to. No, I get a lot. It's quite weak. I get a lot. It was weak. I, I, Ethan, I want to see you do better. Like JJ was like, "Oh no, this is cringe if you don't put effort in." Yeah, like, that's got, kind of the problem. Like, because I was, I started doing like the more TikTok type of stuff on there because yeah, I've got yeah. a lot of friends with TikTokers, more like on the art side, and I, my commentary audience rejected it and called me loads of homophobic slurs. <laughs> but then, in, like, it's my we did like a million views in a day, yeah, and I'm yeah, like, TikTok's like a, a million beast. views in a day, homophobic slurs. Okay, like, which one do I pick? I was, show, I was showing Simon. I had my first um, TikTok viral moment, didn't I? Someone ran Your TikTok's into him. been banging. No, 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 no but, but not him. Someone else has uploaded a video meeting him, and it's got like two hundred k. Yeah. So someone, I was charging my car, and someone fist bumped me for like thirty seconds. And it's on one hundred seventy thousand views. That's unreal. Yeah, and he has a hundred followers. That's so sick. Jacken is really gassed. He's like, oh my god, I got hundred. Although that wasn't that his only post. Yeah. Mad. I showed you how. How big TikTok is, and also how famous I am. This is I the am. dance if you want to see oh, it. Here you go, here you go. Look, this is look at the lack of effort here. Oh look at oh he's you know, really you know, not you know, right, oh he's the, really not trying. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Yeah, it was it was. They, poor. They got half a million likes. <laughs> it was poor though. <laughs> to me, you know, you got if you're gonna do that, put the effort in. This is going in well so far, but you know when it's this part, they need to do the jump afterwards. They need to show <laughs> his booty. I just think you got to you know, if you're going for it. Go for it. I respect the effort though. I just want to see it improve from here on out. You got to start it. somewhere. It's uh, currently he knows he's he, he's going to be fighting for his life in the group chat, which is a comment <laughs> I get on all of my. Oh, he put that. That's, that's, literally that's literally what he put. <laughs> that's what all the comments on this are though. Yeah, that's oh, what, okay. that's what, yeah, that's what mine yeah. are as well. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not in any group chats anymore. The e boys <laughs> is over, guys. <laughs> that was a uh, uh, talker, I think. Oh shit. Yeah, talkers, talkers a laugh. The sports sponsored, the football thing. But it's fun. Yeah, no, they they messaged me and asked me to come down. It's actually really fun. Play ball. That's nothing. What? You know, I you know who I, who dared me the other day? <laughs> Your mum. No, it was no. a flat. No, no, have a hotel. <laughs> well, it is a flat actually. They no, dared me saying, "Do you want to come perform in the game?" <gasps> oh, you've got it. You yeah. have to do it. Yeah, of course. I'm not, I'm not replied yet, but I will do. They're like, "Do you do you and your mates want to come perform?" And I was like, "Yeah, mates." Yeah, me. Yeah. They're like, "Do you and your mate KSI want to perform?" Just tell them I'm. Hey, KSI. no, no, KSI ain't coming. Have a hotel. This is my moment. They were using you to get to KSI. No, they're not Simon. <laughs> I never played have a hotel. You'll get a Fortnite concert. <laughs> Have you guys done a Fortnite concert yet? No, why would I ever do that? Because it's, it's got to be on the card soon. Have a hotel is better. That's where you want to be. Well, JJ did Roblox. What about RuneScape? <laughs> yeah, JJ did Roblox. Did you, yes, I saw that. The video is so funny. That's a late. <laughs> His character as well. Yeah. The JJ did he design it? Roblox. I doubt he's no, no, I doubt and then, well, You see the guy who's got the Deji t-shirt? No. So JJ's running around in Roblox and some other character has got Deji just crying on a t-shirt <laughs> in the game. In the game. <laughs> Oh god! I, I love Roblox because it's so like it's so memeable, but it's so like self-aware that it's memeable at the same time. Yeah. It's such a weird game, man. It's such a weird I never really played Roblox either. I don't even it's know. The first time I ever spoke to George was he went, "Do you want to do a live stream on Roblox oh, for okay. now?" You didn't meet him on Roblox. I've lost respect friends. now. No, he asked me to, to play Roblox for him for an hour. It was the first thing I ever did content we ever produced. Yeah, and I was I, like, "What a weird video!" It's such a weird. I feel like I feel like as well like. No offense to JJ, it's not necessarily a good thing. Now nah, Roblox is massive, like it's still. I know, but it's like I have friends who still play it now. Maybe that's worrying about my friendship what choices. Is it? What? what? What is it though? What do there's you do so on many it? games. There's it's so many mini games. It's like mini games. Like like uh, it's Death like Runs Minecraft. Watch a laser beam video on it. Right. And you you'll actually be like, oh, I kind of get it out. That's JJ's character. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this video is so. I love JJ on this video. It's so funny. Yeah. I I, I love JJ. Well, they've given him like a realistic one. Normally they don't look like that. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, not to say that's realistic. No, no. <laughs> not to. Uh, they tried. They tried. Yeah, they have tried. Have they? <laughs> there's, there was, uh, there's no one on the planet who is as just funny as JJ is naturally on videos. A bold statement. He's no, vet, but he, I mean, like, he, he is. Just, but like, just record anything like consistently. I think you know. He'll just sit there and press record. And it's an amazing video. Like I was watching him doing the sidemen. Um, <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I, I was watching him doing the sideman uh, commentary for the for the OnlyFans. He's just natural, just does it. Yeah. I'm like, no, how, he, how, he, how no, have you done that? Like, you're, on a, you're on a bus, like shaking around. I'm like, I'm having a nap, and he's just there cranking out jokes. <laughs> it's just like I'm like, oh man. So like, I'm laughing. Eight. I'm laughing. Him, in, him recording it. It's like second nature to him at that point. Though, yeah, really, I hate it. it. Yeah. I'm so jealous. I am jealous of it. Yeah, man. Like, but I think to say, like ever. He's to be like he's he is. I think, the, I think he's up there. I'm more jealous about the energy he has. I am always tired. No, nah, he can be, he can be like half asleep and then record and then be on it. That's the thing, Part though. Like, like he's asleep. He he is energetic on camera, but he around the house he's like sluggish. Well, when I met him at, at football, he was very quiet and you know just you know didn't really speak much. I was, I, you know, I wasn't expecting him to have and be like lol. <laughs> yeah, no, but <laughs> yeah, Megs you lol. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps all his energy. Now I think he does so much that he keeps his energy for that stuff. You have to. Yeah, yeah. Whereas back in the day, he was very much like you know, oh yeah, I record for a bit. I use my like I've got enough energy for the day. Now it's like he wakes up, he trains. That's a lot of energy. Then it's like okay, I've got to record, or I've got to go perform, or I've got to do this. That's his thing. Yeah, his schedule must be energy. insane. I like. I, yeah, I just. I just wouldn't be able to hack it. Yeah. Well, um, you know, speaking of JJ, he's awful at FIFA. This is what he wanted to say. But I've finished my topics. I am done. I, go, I go do on? not. You can do what you um, want. Did you dispatch him? Yeah, we were playing on on the on the bus, right? And I beat him. Then I There's beat no him proof. Again. There's no proof. Then I beat him again, right? And then I, then I was three 0 up at half time, and he quits. Change his team to Soccer Aid, which obviously has Pele and Mario. Oh, and I, George did that yesterday. Yeah. And then he beats me 6 1 with that team because it's unreal. And then he, he Instagrams that and everyone thinks I'm bad at FIFA. And my phone's dead though. I can't respond. I can't reply. And then we play again. I beat him with, I actually beat him with City. He played with Maradona, Pele, and Zidane. And, and well, all of them. Yeah. All them yeah. You are naturally bad at FIFA though. You remember when we, the first time I met him, I played FIFA with him. And I you think won 7 0. Yeah. yeah. But that was that was that was when we filmed Sweaty Goals, which as you all know is a long time ago. Oh my god, yeah. is that when that was? Yeah. yeah. So I'm better now. I'd actually like to see me and you have a, get, a, a match. I do everything I can to not have to play that game. Yeah, I mean okay. we play Vault we only play Volta now, which is what? like the forbidden game mode. The is it good? FIFA Street one. Well, it's just because like it's purely a laugh. Like can you be soccer on that? Yeah, you can. <laughs> which is even worse by the way. You could do Volta, the- Volta Pro Clubs next year. Yeah, that'd oh, be great. Yeah. Oh, I want. I would. I would love to get involved in some of these pro clubs next year. That's one of the things I do want to do because that's the only game mode worth playing. You want to be in Big Brother? Big Brother clubs. Oh, I love that. Genuinely, you're not in it. I don't want to be. In you're it. on the PS5. Last time. Huh? You're on the PS5. Last series on the Xbox. But it'll get you one. It'll get you. It'll get you an Xbox. <laughs> I did actually. <laughs> you bought everyone an Xbox. I did you buy played. everyone an Xbox. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I already. Got, I, I'll buy, I'll I ended up making a loss on that series. Oh, I, 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 can, I can imagine because the prize pool was like well, they fifty gave grand, me, and they, you bought it for Xbox. Yeah, they gave me. I think they gave me forty five, forty five thousand dollars. I think I gave through prizes. I think I gave away fifty thousand, and then I bought everyone Xboxes. <laughs> Why? Because because no one had. Everyone was like, um, I was like, oh yeah, what's what console? And everyone was like. PlayStation, Xbox, PlayStation, Xbox. And I was like, well, oh, yeah. not everyone has one and I don't want to be unfair. Them, yeah. I don't want to buy him an Xbox and then not give them one. Yeah, but then he was so, so he was so fair about it. That I said to him, I've already got an Xbox. You don't have to buy me one. And he was like, oh, but I want it to be fair. So I was like, oh, okay. So well, I don't want to not buy someone an Xbox and then buy someone else an Xbox. But I already had one. Yeah, but you can give it to someone else. I did. Exactly. <laughs> I give it to my mate who didn't have one, which is yeah. fair. And he then I paid it. everyone. I feel bad for everyone in the first series because mm. the second series I ended up, everyone got... I can't remember how much it was, but they got paid to play. There was a man of the match bonus every game. Oh, yeah. Like, it was a lot kind yeah. of thing. Whereas the first season was like, yeah, if you if you come in the top three, you get some money. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it. switch it back to that. <laughs> 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 well, um, I'd love to see you on uh, Big Brother Clubs next year. Yeah, I know. I, I generally would really want to play. Oh, I just yeah, realized, I was like, I did have an Xbox. I was like, because Will got, Will got me a PlayStation Xbox for the... Um, Christmas E Boys video, oh, the, the yeah, last yeah. E Boys video. <laughs> oh. And uh, I just realized that I gave it to my brother. So he's got that now. So well, I'll, I'll figure out who's in the series and John, what console. John, John, do you want to be in Salmon's Big Brother Clubs? <laughs> you're going to get everybody in. No. He yep. said no. Wow. Oh, wow. You're, you're that was good, easy money, you know. Too good for Salmon? Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Talia actually wants to be in it. Oh, do oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, get her in. Who get else? her in. Who else has said the down? You, Talia, Danny Aarons said he was. He get was Tommy keen. in it on. He definitely wouldn't. There's you no know. time. I watched him play yesterday. We made him play. And? And it was not great, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he'd play then. No, he was, uh, he didn't, he couldn't figure out the shoot button. And then yeah, he was like, how is he running fast? And I was like, oh, well, sprint. And he was like, there's a sprint button. Steve, JJ's bodyguard, right, is a beast at FIFA. 
Really? Yeah, no joke. He beat JJ, beat me. You, you know what? You're just right. I, I, I'm not going to say I'm good at the game because I'm not. You guys are terrible. <laughs> yes, I know JJ is terrible. And, and you lost to him multiple times. I know, and I beat him more times than he beat me. You lost multiple, multiple times. Yes, I did, but that was because he was using a god team. Anyway, Steve, right? He changed the buttons, but he, he takes like five minutes to change the buttons. Oh, he well plays with the D-pad. He's not good. He's not good. He beat JJ. That doesn't mean he's good. <laughs> I'd have to play used to actually, but no, no, mate, mate. Right, well, you know what's crazy? What do you mean he plays on a D pad? He's like you're old school. He's old school. He's old school. Yeah, he changes shoot, it changes friend, it changes everything, right? But get this right, he has a free kick. Right? And you know how you have to move the circle and hold it there, and it's quite hard to actually get it in the right place with a D pad. You don't do that; it just sticks. So you can just go. Oh, shoot. and move it across. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that's <laughs> cheating. Yeah, surely. He, 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 he passes, and it just goes in a straight line. Well, that's a nightmare. He's hacked the game. He's hacked the game. He's playing 4D chess out here. Oh, my God. But, yeah, soon. But also, he still shouldn't beat you able to do that. Because yeah, if he's getting dead balls constantly, then, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. if he's playing, if he's dribbling around with, with the D-pad and you can't tackle him, then that's on you. He's a great, great FIFA player. And I'll, I'll play you soon if you want. You down? Yeah, I'm down. I've only ever played Gib. Uh, I've played Gib. I've played Will. I've I think played, I've played, played Marriott. And I think we played a bit. And I think you thrashed me. I don't remember. I think you did. I beat Gib, though. He was really angry. I've never oh, actually, oh, oh, oh. I like, I've never actually seen somebody so angry. I th- I'm pretty certain Gib beat JJ. Gib is awful at feet. Yeah, bro, that was the worst game. If and Gib beat seen. JJ. I remember like Gib was like, "We'll have a rematch." Yeah, and that was all I remember. So if you're beating Gib, and Gib's beating JJ, and JJ is beating you. No, 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 no! JJ's oh, not beating me. He beat you. There's multiple games on it. We already know the winner, guys. <laughs> but that means you're not like just better than him. You're like, oh, I'm levels above. Yeah, I yeah. beat JJ. More times he beat me. Gib beat JJ, and you're saying, yeah, but Steve beat JJ, I, so he has to be good. I destroyed JJ, by the way. I was, I was like rainbow flicking him. I was teasing. Where's him. the proof? Yeah, it's just on his story, not yours. Well, I don't want that guy filming. Oh, I just beat KSI at FIFA. Why? When he was Why? Like, I would be that guy. Yeah. I 100 percent would be that That's guy. That's not about an Instagram story. Yes. That's everything. Numbers e- over everything. Yeah, it's true. It was numbers greater than our podcast. Yeah. Numbers well, greater than family. <laughs> Don't throw. Oh, just f- <laughs> Dom Tarantz. <laughs> oh, Dom <laughs> Tarl. Sorry, who's that called? Sounds like, like family. <laughs> Should we end the podcast? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I finished. I finished everything. You've had your FIFA run. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no I've spon- loved it. No sponsor today. Do you want to, do you want to be our sponsor? Oh uh, yeah, like, as, uh, a, as in like internet sensation. Please go uh, watch my podcast. It comes out on October the fifth on Spotify. Please, it's cool. be internet sensation and my internet sensation clothing. If you want to get beaten up in the street, and if you buy it, you can then scan the QR code and buy more. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> it's, you'll be doing it forever. Yeah, thank you very so much. So internet guys. sensation, the YouTube channel will have clips. Yes, we'll and have on the clips Spotify. On. You can oh, listen to the whole thing. Also, yeah. just before we end, Zoe and Alfie had their baby. They did. Oh, Otter- I'm not involved. No, no, no Otter- 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 <laughs> Otterly. Otterly. That's weird. He hasn't seen Zoe in, what, nine months? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I haven't seen any of the ages. I haven't seen any of the I'm not involved. But yeah, maybe I'll get a TikTok clip. But anyway, see you later, guys. Thanks for having <laughs> us. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one. Peace. Peace. See ya.